stream. Welcome hey. everyone to Cold Hard Witch. <laughs> We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play through Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module with some additions sprinkled in. My name is Buddy, and I'm the DM of this adventure. Votes are still being tallied on whether I'm the trifling DM or not, but I am hopeful. You are. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see who we have here tonight, shall we? We have Chael playing Delphina, our Azamar life cleric, whose butt is buttered like a biscuit, apparently. Uh... <laughs> Rodney playing Flynn, the Psy Warrior fighter, who is tending to his burrito. Hey. Uh, Pike playing Professor Reginald, mm. a, a human <laughs> warlock uh, who has not done anything crazy this, the, this evening yet. Yeah. Uh, we have Ryan uh, guest starring as Captain Imdra. Probably is his last night since he's got to be uh, on to, he's got a show opening up and he's got other, uh, other things trapped by hope coming back. And so... We are I at had the, limp asparagus. <laughs> we, we are at the end of our uh, guest starring no, time tell with, us about your dinner, Ryan. with Ryan. <laughs> and it was a potato. <laughs> still thrown into this madness is Evadaris, guest starring as Luca. Uh, unfortunately, Farrell and Zavanna's players are unable to join us tonight. How is everyone? We are we're already slap happy. Uh, oh, yeah. So we've, we've got a hashtag in here. Hashtag biscuits from Delfina. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> dude, it is, it's going to be one of those nights. Put the kids to bed and then come back. When we last left our party, they had released some prisoners from their holding cells, found some new friends, found a disgusting plan for exploiting young women, and found some Durgar who just didn't understand that visiting hours were over. They inserted themselves into a late night meeting with the speaker, a meeting which quickly went sideways. Imdra, upon seeing both Prudence and a Durgar in the room, let her emotions take hold and the speaker of Targos developed a splitting headache. Well, I feel like maybe less of an ache and more of a split head. I'm sorry, like, Imdra? I feel like any one of you can like chalk up to making bad choices when your ex is in the room. All right. That's, oh, all right. Like, yeah. right? What is I that? The only one. Art, the only uh, one. Art imitates life. Um, Flynn with the coolest of heads got everyone to simmer down and begin to negotiate a deal. A couple of deals, actually. Um, he only has 24 hours to fulfill his end or Targos will pay the price. There is also the matter of the impending sacrifice to the Frost Maiden, but, you know. And One now, friends. <laughs> One step at a time. And I now. Don't, I don't want anyone to ever give me shit again for making a deal with Levi, because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have any impact because, on the city because the deal she made didn't put a town oh, in no. threat of being oh, burned for oh, no. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about this. This is this is where I wanted to, this is where I wanted to start tonight. Anyway, anyway. exactly. <laughs> and now, friends, let us rejoin most of our party members upstairs, who are about to reveal their great plan to us all. No pressure. What? No pressure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's, who's, who's got the plan? All okay. right. Um, Sorry, I was waiting for a map to change, and it didn't. I, and, I, I realized, I, and then I realized that we're not in combat. <laughs> this is a role-playing game. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> I can put some battle music on if you think it would help you. No. Yeah, I mean, no, we'll see how no. this conversation goes first. It does help Imdra. So, uh, All the time. Yeah. So, All yeah, right. De Delphina and Zalvana are downstairs still. Uh, the rest of you, though, are upstairs um, in the, the little conference room area, uh, Miat Shield is there, and Guard, and Valen should be downstairs. Uh, there were two guards that uh, Guard told the other two guards to walk the Durgar out. So they okay. were okay. You heard you you have heard no popping off downstairs. So they assuming assuming that's normal. The uh, they got away. They were escorted out. I've given nothing else to this game. I have given me at shield and, and go and go hard. <laughs> <Guard. Guard. laughs> uh, hell happened. Um, hi, are you, are you back? Are you with us now? I, and she like sort of like flexes her fingers. She's like, I'm, I'm so cold. 
cool. I was or, so cold. Um, table that for for a minute because I'm gonna we're gonna run down what's going on real quick, real real quick. Um, first of all, you're under arrest. Um, on whose authority? Mine. Um, Flint. Flint's. Yes. Mine. <laughs> By by the by the word of the wolf guard, you are under my arrest because you you the speaker in there and you went all um noble warrior on me and I needed to one calm you down and two uh, alibi or something to keep you from getting completely scrutinized by the town um, when we leave this room because we're gonna have to tell them that the speaker's dead and uh, that another one was responsible for it and got away with it. Demand um, trial by combat. Uh, Captain, I, I do believe Flynn is correct, and this this might be the best way to keep you safe. I I didn't I, I saw what was happening, but I couldn't control it. I there was a, oh. a voice in my head. Oh, I know. I'm aware. Yes, I'm aware. We, we understand, Captain, and most of us are familiar with this voice, but I'm afraid the rest the, of the town might not be. What the hell was that thing? Wait a minute. You guys broke me out of jail and you're hearing people talking in your heads? <laughs> I'm this could shoot. not get any better. I'm going to shoot her. A Who is... Tele tele telepathically, we all hear things in our heads. Mm. Also, mm. who is that? True. And, and who are you? She points to Luca. They're My new. name is Vrosh. <laughs> I'm here because I was in a cell like her, and it's been a long 48 hours. Just just a long, long 48 hours. And I'll just keep smoking my pipe, going, what the hell are they talking about? Voices in their heads. Have I? I haven't yet. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, Velen, yeah. when, when the rest of our companions come upstairs we might need to have a, a discussion amongst ourselves uh your i appreciate your role in what happened i i feel rude asking you to leave you're certainly welcome to say i suppose but i'm i'm most of what we discuss likely will not apply to you um unless Valen, you Valen stands up well i'm ready to leave if you want me to go um um where where will you go, Velen? Uh are you in danger? I mean, no more so than everyone else in this room who was party to killing a speaker. Uh yes, but we I mean your name oh, was this group here while we're all still hanging out in the room next door to where the dead speaker's body is, and why are we still here? Any of us? Because there's still a Town. She makes a good point. Uh, perhaps. Um... Okay, so we yeah. have to go downstairs and tell the, the other people that the speaker's dead and that um, speaker Prudence was a part of a plot. To... Oh, wait, was there Prudence. any paperwork? Prudence was here. Where did she go? Uh, no, she was. I, re I remember. Now. Yes, she was here. What? Did she? Was she hurt? Did I, uh, God, did I hurt her? Oh, no, you didn't. You, you didn't. Who did? We'll I mean, get most to that of us. Later. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I did. I think that was mostly Flynn. It was probably just, it was probably just mostly me. Did one of you hurt Prudence? Yes! I hit, I hit Prudence because she was standing in that, you stand up to me, like, she was standing in that office with the other speaker, with the Durgar, talking about their deal for this town, for, for, for catching people, killing people. I, I don't know. There was a bunch going on, but... Trial by combat. That's all I'm going to say again. Trial by combat. The Dur... I remember now. There were... The, the Durgar was talking to the speaker. Uh-huh. And... Yes. Prudence was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we Kendra, have to find... Don't, yeah, don't... Don't think too... I can't... I don't want you to get too wrapped up in, in what happened if you it's were not like a... fully within your 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 right mind. It's like there's a frost in my like a haze in my head. I can't see all the details. I, what the you're, hell was that thing? You're gonna do good on the stand. Yeah. This trial, this insanity, temporary insanity thing. That you're you're selling it well. 
Who the fuck is this chick? She, oh. hey, hey, first of all, she is as much of a victim in this as the rest of us are, all right? The speaker was collecting people. One, the one, the lottery's rigged. Two, the speaker is collecting people for some sort of weird trafficking thing. Um, so we probably did this sound like a favor a few times over. So um, is there written evidence of what this of the speaker's dealing? I'm asking you, Professor, because you went digging through the desk. Um, of his deal with the Durgar, or like it, or like and like the botched lottery and the human trafficking thing. Oh, uh, the the lottery we definitely have record of. There is there are two copies of the lottery notebook. One is clearly annotated with uh, who has paid what bribes and and who should be chosen. Okay, uh, well, the rest of what we have, I believe, is coded within this notebook which uh, I, I, I'm confident I should be able to decipher. I would just, um, I don't know how long it will take. Okay, so we just go and tell everyone what the speaker done has done. We have the testimonies of the people um, that were held prisoner here. Um, hopefully that buys enough to get the town off of our back for killing their speaker, but we still have to deal with um, the sacrifice that's got to come through and um, the Durgar that are, will be here in uh, a day. Yes. Um, well, and the good thing about the Durgar is uh, we have the Shardalin already. And so worst case scenario, we give them the Shardalin and then whatever they're doing with it just becomes a problem for, with, for another day. Um, Can I we give that to them before when they were asking about it. I thought you said we didn't have any. Uh, no, there's quite a large sack of it in the other room. Um, why the speaker, I number one, I don't know why the speaker did not want to give it to them or, or what he knew. I'm hoping he kept notes in his journal about like, I mean, the speaker didn't seem like a much of an upstart citizen. I wouldn't put a, a past him to just screw the Durga over f for the fun. Um, but I'm hoping he had a very good reason why he didn't want them to have it. I'm sorry, we're making deals with the Durgar? Uh, the speaker was, yes. Yes. And then I did, yeah. Yes. If that. they don't pay it, because I'm throwing you all under the bus for this, if they don't pay it, the town gets burned down in 24 hours. I feel yes, like that's, that's a subject we've missed telling Imdra while dealing with the whole catching up on the insanity portion of this. Well, we yeah. have to go from her girlfriend thing to the dirt guard now. So, yeah. or not the one who disappeared? It. Yeah, the one that went like poof and yes. It, it, if I may interject, uh, yes, the one that poofed and disappeared. Uh, what if she were the cause of all of the unfortunateness in the room next door? Oh, she absolutely is and will be. Um, yes, I saw her. I saw her swing that sword around and split his head in two like a melon. Well, no. uh, is that not, is that not what you all saw as well? No, That's no, no, no. Important. We don't know what Prue's part prudence part in this was, and we're not gonna put any. I'm not gonna put her at risk like that. She but be you yourself said that you have a kind of a frosty fog over what happened. So, are you sure that she didn't do that? Roll a history check. At disadvantage, Indra. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh, oh, good, good golly, Miss Molly. Uh, okay, so it's shift for advantage. Uh, what's what's disadvantage, my friends? Control, control or shift? Control, control. Yes, it is. All right. Do 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 the thing. Make the stuff. With three. A three and a four. <laughs> oh my right. god. So disadvantage is what? All right. So yeah, you, with a four. You you for sure do you, do you have any adders for your history? One. Yeah. So, yeah. so that roll that's that a total of five. Four, which makes it a four and a five. Yeah. Uh I mean you you clearly remember seeing yourself outside your body attacking the speaker, but that's there's no way that could have been, so Maybe it was her. You know that the two of you had had sparred uh, with blades a little bit before, and while she wasn't particularly good, she she did attack viciously. 
uh, which often gave you the advantage, but now you're just digressing into thinking about l different things that the two of you used to do, and you you have you have rolled this memory check into kind of a, a weird stream of conscious, and the room is just looking at you. Uh, well, dear, do you are you are you sure that maybe she did or didn't as the f icy fog lifted and you were in control of yourself, or? I don't remember. What I do remember is that Prue wouldn't do this. Besides, if everything you say is true, that the lottery is rigged and this bastard was having a, uh, 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 uh keeping women for, uh, against their will, then it, it, it could have just as easily been the Durgar who killed him or I, because they were there, they were there in the room and, and now they're coming back and we're making deals with them. You. Harbingers, you know this. You 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 know that they are absolute scourge. We have to eradicate them. Oh, uh, we have not made a deal with the Durgar. Uh, the the former speaker made the deceased speaker uh, made a deal with the Durgar, and the Durgar are expecting us to honor that deal. But we can't give them the Shardolin. You know, I've I've professor, I have seen what the Shardolin does, especially to someone like you. Yes, I agree, which is why, for now, we are keeping the Shardolina a secret and Where's... hoping we can find a, another solution. Wasn't, wasn't Delfina with you? I believe she's downstairs. Yeah. Speaking of, <laughs> why don't we transition downstairs to Delfina? De uh, hold on, give me one second. Do a little map switch here. Delfina. Um, meanwhile. meanwhile, where things are maybe a little less heated. Uh, so there are the three women that your party had uh, had set free from from the jail cells down there, and you know that. That poor reception is still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, after. Uh, Getting getting trash talked by the professor. She she is actually uh, lending a hand here. Uh, so there are the uh, the three women, and you remember they two of them looked okay, but uh, the one that's kind of sitting on the desk in now, she had um, fresh bruises and uh, maybe not cracked ribs, but certainly had been uh, had had fists put upon her uh, quite recently. And uh, so they they brought some some water and some bandages, and they're just getting everyone kind of cleaned up, and have been tending to uh, the three ladies. The uh, when they had all been brought up here, Valin had told everyone that the speaker had been collecting them for a new house of ill repute that he was trying to set up for the local fishermen, uh, seemingly just conscripting them against their will. Uh, so Delfina, you and Zalvana are. Uh, downstairs, helping to get them cleaned up. I'll uh, I'll approach one of the women and mm -hmm. are are you feeling any better? Uh, we'll say that you're you're talking to uh, to Britha here next okay. to you. Uh, it, yes, I, I just I I just came from from Bryn Shander a, a few days ago. I, I heard there were great work opportunities here and. And I, I was I was having a drink, and then I was just it was I woke up, and it was I was I was in a cell, and they they kept telling me about this this job that they had for me, and it it, it's, it, it, I'm, it was just awful. Um, I'm I'm so glad your friends came and let us out. I, I am too. I'm I'm really sorry all of this happened. I I'm, I'm glad we were able to help a little bit. Well, yes, I I am as well, but I I think I will be returning to to Bryn Shander after after all of this is done. I I don't blame you. Um. Uh, oh, well, here here you can have some bread. Oh oh, actually that would be great. I it, it's it's been since yesterday since we got to eat. Oh, do you I, have I might... do you have bread? Uh, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Tell me, do you have biscuits? I'm going to say that you oh, have yeah. biscuits. No. You know Rest what? I have, 
Oh, got them biscuits. <laughs> I have buttered biscuits in my pack. <laughs> and if I don't, give me two minutes and I will. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, she she gladly will take um, will, will take partake of your buttered biscuit. Awesome, um, awesome. And uh, now, because it is a time honor tradition that we all know and love so well, secret, secret. Oh my God, Delphina. <gasps> yeah. Oh shit. <clears throat> Nothing bad ever comes from this. No. And you'll notice that Ryan is not on the call with us. So <laughs> as, oh, you, as you are helping the girls get cleaned up and trying to ease their minds, you, you look, there's a large, a large basin of water on the desk and you see, you see your own reflection kind of rippling in the water a little bit and you stare at it and you were just, you were, are drawn in to the reflection. You do not recognize the place that you are in, but it is warm and inviting. The sun shines through the branches of beautiful old growth trees, dappling the area around you with light. There's a waterfall that plunges into a small pond where, again, you see your reflection. And you hear the sound of a woman's voice um, all around you, you can't see her, but it is, is is definitely comforting to you. Delphina. <sighs> Lady Eldeth, is that you? Your mother and grandmother have prayed for you. They're quite concerned, but I have set their minds at ease. I have been watching you. Thank you. I... I hope I'm making you proud. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my absolute best. You speak with a dark force, Delphina. He is using your generosity to deceive you. He is drawing you and your friends toward a war. To follow me is to only resort to violence in defense of yourself, your friends, your loved ones. But I am not blind. The Frost Maiden has a wicked plan, and it increases suffering on a daily basis. This dark one you are speaking with has wickedness in his heart as well. Do you... Do you mean my friend? You must learn to know yourself and believe in your capabilities. Even if you stray from my path, it is always available for you to rejoin. Your friends can strength. give you your friends can give you strength and you can bolster them as well. Trust the wolf guard for although he can be violent his instinct is for peace and to help others. Watch the traveler and the writer. They aren't bad people but can easily be swept up into things that get out of control. The scout will return. Though she had dark beginnings, she works with others to stop those who would corrupt the world. Now go, Delphina of the Harbingers. And your mind clears, and you are back, <clears throat> and your hands are closed together, and you open them just a little bit, and when you open your hands, you see a daisy. I'm going to take that and put that in my pocket. Okie dokie. Uh, we're going to turn a spirited biscuit debate on chat, but all right, let's go back. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. I missed that. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> uh, I know I have the best biscuits. Duh. Uh, I'll give you a run biscuits for your money on that. All the boys to the yard. <laughs> <and they're> like, <laughs> oh my God. We all have the best. We all know Southerners have the best biscuits. I, I just was not prepared for my biscuits bring all the boys to the yard. That was yeah, that's right. that's that right. was inspired. Thank uh, you. Thank you. We're going to transition back upstairs. Uh, Delphina has uh, has a few things from her secret secret that she's mulling over in her head. Mm. <laughs> all right. So where are the Durgar? 
do, do the, are we meeting them here? Like we need to prepare the town. If they're going to try to attack, we need to be ready. They'll probably have, meet back here. I mean, say we have no idea. There How is a hole in the basement still. Wait, it? there's a hole in the basement? Yeah. You, you didn't lie. leave with the fact that there's a hole in the basement? No, because the speaker's dead. There's a priority list here and speaker being dead versus hole in the basement. Look, I feel like for those of you who have been in the 10 towns long enough know that speaker's longevity is not necessarily something that we pride ourselves on. But holes in the basement, that's a big deal. Especially because the last time there was a hole in the basement, the speaker died? What, what? No. What happened, Harbingers? The, the, the town hall was attacked. The town hall was attacked. Yes, exactly. By what? Uh, Drow and Durgar. Yeah. That's right. D so, just for the stream, that was Drow and Durgar, not a drown Durgar. Because a drown Durgar. While, I, while we haven't seen undead Durgar yet, they may be coming oh, in the man. future. So I don't want that. No, don't get my ideas. <laughs> Well, it sounds like you guys are two and two for basement versus speaker incidents. I mean, we've been in the right place in the right time for, for each one. Uh, unfortunately, they seem to be just just one just one step ahead of us. But mm -hmm. uh, looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's true too. But okay, so what's the plan? Yes, well, are we? Are we? Are we? Are we leaving? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Who? Is it that unfortunate girls? I for the third time, uh, Frosty. My name is Valen, and if you check in the lottery book that the professor there has already seen, I have won the lottery for tomorrow that hasn't been drawn yet for another eighteen hours. So I'm not really wanting to stick around too much. Okay, so then. I mean, we have the book. Is the library? Is the lottery still? It will be going to tell occur. Everyone, the speaker. I, we, we, I think what everyone's failing to realize here is that the the fucking structure of this town is about to crumble once we leave this room. Right? Once we leave this room and go downstairs and tell the receptionist that the speaker is dead and has been involved with dealings with the Durgar, and that another speaker from one of the other ten towns has been in on it, the 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 infrastructure of the hierarchy of the town is going to crumble. The lottery will be a no issue when people find out that it's been rigged. And that- Flint, who's the second in, who's the second in command here in Tartos? Yeah, Flint, I'm not sure the speaker was fully in control of the town, unfortunately. Yeah, the, yeah but do the people know that? Do the people of this town know that? No, but when when someone in a position of power steps forward and says, that they are now in charge the the majority of the people i don't feel like will put up much of a fight we know well, that we know the zentar are here they'll just yes install their, their yes there's one in that room right there with his head split and if your question is was he really in charge yes absolutely he's running the guard all of them and she looks pointedly at guard and miat shield Okay, maybe not all of them because they've not. <laughs> but the the from the stories that I have heard around town before I got picked up in Bremen, the guard suddenly swelled to immense proportions when he moved in. Crime rates went up. Everything got very expensive, and yet Nerth just walked around as though everything was fine. Do you, do you, yes, he was absolutely in charge. As to who was the second, I do not know. Maybe it was your friend Prue Prudence. Uh, maybe it was someone else. There's that really angry bitch that she's always with. Uh, maybe it was her. I, I, I don't know. But yes, Flynn, you're right. The structure of this town may crumble when we walk downstairs, but it, it won't be any better if we just stay here. I, I, I understand that. I just need everyone to be on a similar page of how we're going to move forward with this. Right? We go tell downstairs. What's that? We tell the people that the speaker is dead. We tell the we speaker that he was killed and that I did it. Nope. Why would nope. you do we that? We don't tell them that part. We do not tell them that part. 
the people have to know what he was doing. He was yeah, breaking. The peop- yeah, the people will know what he was doing. The people don't need to know that you're the one that took him out, Imdra. I. I know that we haven't gotten off on the right foot yet, but I, I will say Flynn has a point. They need to know that he was doing bad things and that he has been mitigated, but it should be enough for them to know that he has been mitigated while they search for new and better leadership. If we tell the people the truth, they'll do the right thing. Trust me, the people of Targos aren't bad people. Plus, the, the guards here are a mercenary army. They don't care as long as they get paid. Flynn, you and I have so much, we saw me, that with the barracks. Me, me at shield, there was. Me, me at shield will will kind of interject there. Uh, uh, not 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 all of us are, are mercs, ma'am. Well, no, clearly. You're you're very sweet. But no, no. Well, uh, no, we we we, we uh, Guard and I have been have been guards here for for a, a couple of years and we're we were born born and raised. We're not we're not part of the group that sprung up around the speaker. I mean, uh, v- Valin, for all of her awkwardness, is is right. As soon as he got here, the the forces swelled, and we were treated nearly as bad as the regular citizens. We always pulled the coldest of watches in blizzards, and you know, clearing out cold light walkers around the around the wall. It, they never had to do any of that. So, Mia, you have had. You have no love for the previous speaker, correct? No, but it was my job to protect the town. Well, you protect the town, yes. And there's a Durgar threat coming to this town, which the people have to know about. I feel like we still have a yes. bigger issue on hands. The attack from the Durgar is still happening. It happened last night, and it's going to happen again tomorrow within 24 hours. Yes. How do we avoid that without giving them the Shardolin? I think that needs to be our primary focus. That's how we avoid that. Honestly, we find out where we are, where they are, and clear them out. Um, Miat, who's the second in command here in Targos? Uh, well, the uh, the one in command of the, of, of the the guards and, and, and the militia is Captain Scath, uh, who, who I haven't seen all day. Um, when. When Prudence was here, he seemed to talk to her a lot. When she wasn't here, he seemed to talk to Kriya a lot. I, I, I don't know if there's a formalized structure. Maybe Captain Scath, though. Where does Captain Scath abode when he is not here? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I could tell you where a couple of I, different I, barracks I, are. Abide? Abide. Abide. Exactly. Let me ask abode a question is where he here. abides. That's right. There he goes. Is he, did he join when this last speaker showed up? Or has he been around as long as you? You need to understand uh, he may be part of the issue here if we try to upvote him to whatever the fuck you want to call him. Hole in the ground guy has a point. Me, Miat will look at Guard. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe it was just a few weeks that he showed up before... Uh, Speaker Nerth, um, he, he certainly hasn't been here our, our whole time. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so what is what is the probability that this second in command is also a high ranking member of the Zentarum? No one got luck. Probably very high. Miat and Griad, do we do we? Uh, it, it's Guard. Any... It's Guard, sir. It's Guard. Yes, that's what I. Yes. Um, do we know of any prominent citizens that are not in the pocket of the Zentarum? Is there anyone the people can can rally behind? Uh well, uh, uh, yes. The, the 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 Winters family is. They've they've been here for uh, for generations. That 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 inn has been in their family for generations uh there's um oh gosh the 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 old the old dwarf the blacksmith uh what's his name and this is actually buddy forgetting what his name is uh grandal uh grandal has been here for over a hundred years 
uh, I'm, I'm sure that that the the people would would rally behind him. He's he's always been a source of strength through all the different trials that Targos has had. Right. So we go downstairs, give them the rundown of what happened, tell them to bring the dwarf in as the head of this town until the next issue gets resolved. Anyway, it's going forward with a new speaker, it, it, there's got to be a vote for the town. All of that takes time. Uh, there's no... Im what happened in East Haven with the emergency election of the new speaker, that's not what happens. The people usually come together, there's a vote held, and then the speaker is then elected. Uh, there's usually a, a second in command for each of the towns. Uh, Prudence was that for our speaker, and that's why she stepped in when he was killed. I feel like at this point, the people need a military leader knowing what's coming. Harbingers, I think it has to be you. I don't want to stay here, though. <laughs> I would, you know what? <laughs> Flynn, Flynn makes a lot of good points. I don't want to stay here either. You know, we could just... We are not... Up and leave. Ocu not... We are not an occupying force, Imdra, as... I mean, as as Luca has pointed out, we we do intend to leave, and likely quite soon. Also, we just rolled into town today, right? And right, and because the town is in this predicament now, because of us, Imdra. What about what about you? You are a military leader. Catholic guilt is not going to let her lead here. Uh, I, I mean, Imdra, that I, that, I that bark was Crufiel seeing Delphina, who has entered the room with all of you. <laughs> I like it, Imdra. I believe you have the leadership qualities to give this town what it needs right now. If if you are able to to look past the the actions of the last few hours. Well, rather than just making a decision in a vacuum without anyone who actually lives here, maybe we should go to wherever these winters are and, and have this dwarf brought over and discuss things to see what actual citizens of this town might think of the plan being drawn up by people who do not live here and do not wish to stay. I just don't think we can I agree. Good. in this predicament. We're, we're not, not leaving. We're going to go. We're, we're going to, to go ask the people what they wish. Um, who wants to burn down the speaker's house and blame it on the Drugar? Um, we'll call that no, no, no. no. like every plan that's that's fronted, like <laughs> Valen is like, yeah, I'm in. Right, I still got votes. I still got votes. some spell slots. Like we could start at the top and get everybody out before the fire gets too bad. Oh, I've seen it. She can do it. Hey, Delphi. Oh hi. Um, I don't. I don't think we should be burning down anybody's house. I mean, it's not really anyone's house anymore. It's more like a tomb no. per se. But, no, but I don't no. think that we should. I'll I'll scratch Crufiel while I'm talking. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I don't uh, think that we um... should. <laughs> what? I don't no. think we should be burning down anybody's house. <laughs> no, nope, hate that. <laughs> What am I uh, watching? <laughs> uh, on the on that taking place, Valen will, against your better judgment, actually move a little closer toward Imdra, like scoot her chair <laughs> over. Um, oh, I mean, technically, this isn't his house. He doesn't live here. He lives over at at, at the other hotel. This so this is I the could town get hall. the room that That's I wanted. In week, stop. We're not burning anything down. We have to save this town. And as you get, just, as you guys are talking about burning it down, like you can see clearly concern on Guard's face and Miat Shield's face, and like Guard will peek around the corner and look at Miat Shield. Is like, no, it's okay. They're, they're just they're just talking. I mean, there's there's definitely like a concern dialogue that they're sharing. There's a hole in the basement. We can blame it in the basement. It can just again hole in the ground. Guy makes a very good point. Still a hole in the basement. Durgar problem. Do we need to put Johnny down there to go watch that hole? I nominate Johnny to watch that hole. 
Look Who the is door. Johnny? Who's he, Johnny? He works here. He's in the basement. He guards the hole now. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the basement. He guards the hole. <laughs> he guards the hole now. Right. I mean, is is he guards the hole a candidate for the title? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll absolutely. He who the guards the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Professor, hard stop. I'm asking you now. Pay the door guard. Yes or no? No. Wasn't talking to you, Emdra. Just saying. <laughs> it's. I don't know if that's a yes or no answer, Flynn. If the answer, the answer is if we must. If because if it's I, a hell no. That's the answer. But you Imdra, say that we have rather, to save the town. Would you rather the town be burned to the ground, Emdra? A town, a town full of mercenary guards who we've just killed their leader, who's not leading them anymore. They're no longer getting paid. Paycheck lost their paycheck do you think they're going to work for us do you think this that town, these six of town. us could kill a durgar onslaught i i want to i want to lean at like look at uh Valina and be like maybe maybe okay but that's not the point but like maybe. yeah i was like yeah i'm also gonna like, i mean, do it. I, 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 mean I, I mean she she'll like like one eye back her one good eye back at you because you know she has an eye patch as well she'll be like she'll be like <laughs> Well, yeah, this, yes, but theoretically. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, you you two are like the fucking Patch Twins. I just want to point that out, Indra. Uh, <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Besties. Uh, I just, I just want to point that out. An onslaught could result in upwards of hundreds of casualties. Whether folks are killed or not. Burnt structures, loss of business. I, I, I don't like the Durgar either. But why are you so opposed to paying them to fucking leave? Because I have seen what they are doing in this, in the Dale. I mean, and they're they, not going they, anywhere. Yeah, actually, they kind of are. If you know, they, they, they don't burn Targos down tomorrow, they'll come back and do it again. No, they're kind but of then done we can with deal with it later no, they, when no, it they, is not. <laughs> do, I'm sorry. Do you, think the, do you think the Durgar are just going to like show up here in force with enough people? We have a mercenary army. This is Targos. Oh, no, no, no. We, we cannot don't. pay. No, we don't. Unless you, you, unless you have the receipts for their payment, we don't have a mercenary army. We have. We are in a town in which a mercenary army resides. Right? Michio, Guard. It's, it's Gu Guard. Guard. <laughs> You said it was mm. Guard later. I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, anyway. you, so you were you were I'm, you were Frosty, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm I'm pretty sure he knows his own name. This Frosty thing. Anyway, uh, the treasury, like this town, clearly, like you you have the money to pay for the army. Yes. Who is in charge of making sure they get the receipt, the, the, their payments? Uh, the the speaker and, and the captain. Need a drink. Balls. The speaker and the captain handle the payments of the mercenary army. Yes. Yes. And did you did you not see the 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 bracelets, the pay bracelets that they wear? And he'll yeah. he'll 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 kind of push his sleeves up, and he does not have on a bracelet. But at least the professor and probably Flynn as well have seen a number of the guards that have uh, thin gold or, or platinum band bracelets on. Um, yeah, we, we just, we, we draw our checks uh, here. Uh, Celia uh, meters us out our, our pay, uh, but, but we don't get paid what the others get paid. So Celia meters out the pay, yes? Uh, yes, but I, I, I still think she gets it from the speaker. Okay. He, okay. he was in but charge of everything. I, I Captain, pro I promise you, like having seen the way a town hall runs, there's a way in which we can figure this out. But we need to let the people know what's happening. Flynn, to answer your question, I uh, un unfortunately we we may have to. Yes. Pay the Durgar. Yes. Okay, that's fine. All right, we can we can deal that with that. That can be an issue just for us and not the whole town knowing of an impending doom rolling in, right? Let's go down. Let's first get the issue of telling people that the speaker's dead before the blood dries up here and we're 
sitting by a dead body. Yes, I'd I'd like to get the uh, the Winters family and this uh, blacksmith uh, involved in this conversation. All right, we go down. We tell the receptionist and the other guy down there, and see if they can get word to the blacksmith. And let's head over to the Winters. Wait, this is going to be a awkward conversation. Probably. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, the good thing is we're going to get to see it live on the stream here just in a minute. I'm going to move your <laughs> I'm going to move your tokens over. I was really hoping you'd be like, oh, we'll just fast forward that part. You explain it, and they're mm-hmm. cool. They, I mean, there's questions, but they understand. Uh, uh, no. Uh, As we go down the stairs, buddy, I will Mm -hmm. drop all the things and just look like normal, (laughs) normal Luca. What does normal look Luca look like? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What? Uh, you can do that. (laughs) So normal Luca, let me pull up my description. I had of him. (laughs) I wasn't ready to re-describe the man. Uh, Wait, so kind of a, for those of us for those of us playing along at home, what did you just look like that I have now? <laughs> you was oh, just a dragonborn. I, I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me give you a little a little bit of token pop here. A little little uh, tasty. Yeah. Uh, I'll go back to that other token pop is uh, Triflin DMs, a Lord of the Rings themed K-pop group. Oh, uh, cool! So, so this is this is what when you were sitting at the table, Luca looked like a a a white dragonborn. Holy shit, that's awesome! Mm-hmm. And uh, My as your left hand still had like the f- ice tips on it from the combat from earlier. And uh... now that you're headed downstairs, Luca shifts into a much more normal and maybe a little more stinky uh, form. <laughs> Probably, probably, yeah. Um, Luca, what is yeah. your your natural form? Yeah, which which one's the real you? Uh-huh. Well, and you guys see uh, a dude that kind of looks like uh, Tormund Giant's Bane from Game of Thrones, but with black hair and a black um, fur uh, coat on instead with all of his um, weapons and whatnot across his body. Well, um, this is my form. The the thing you saw earlier during the fight, that was a disguise because I do not like to have bounty hunters, and I'm going to mean mug Flynn, coming after me in case I get in trouble in town. You know what they're going to be looking for if I get in trouble? A white dragonborn. Not this. Well, that is... That is completely the opposite of a white dragonborn. Yeah, that's a, it's a good plan. Um, just we'll have to remember that. Actually, uh, let's. Uh, yep. Two two taking things. notes. Mm-hmm. Professor's taking notes. <laughs> two, two things. One. Do you have to smell like that? And then two. Wh- how, what kind of magic? Is it a? I mean, are you? Well, so first off, the reason I smell like this is because I've been in the basement, locked up in a cell for roughly 48 hours, if not more, right by the fucking shitter. So contacts, <laughs> I just absorbed the smell by sheer vicinity. Yeah, th- let's say the spray is real, so. Oof. Mm. Mm. As for <laughs> how I can do this, I'll point to like the small little like black dot on my face, right, like right below my eye. It's thanks to this wonderful tattoo and like I'll drag it and it'll extend itself upwards. This little baby, and I'm just going to move it across my face is what allows me to do that. And then I'll pull it back into its little dot area. If you never seen someone have a tattoo that can do these things, uh, no, uh, in no. fact, our, our, no, our drow, com- no, uh, I mean, our drow companion has one very similar to that, in fact. <gasps> I've, does she? I didn't, I've never seen that. Absolutely. I... That's so cool. I want one. Imdra, you, re- you remember that, Imdra? Uh, so, it did, um, 
Did Feriel ever reveal her face to me? I don't know. She was always. I know that for the most part, she always. She always had the mask, but you, you could tell that she. Was, yeah, I knew that she was you could drow. Tell she was drow, but but, but when but when they know, when they ventured them. when they ventured out to the bar in East Haven, she transformed to look like Prudence, That's and you right. and Prudence stayed in the office, and Fariel as Prudence and the rest of the group went out and about so that it could be seen that this the interim speaker was out. Yeah. So you you have right. seen it happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you guys are you, you talk about this or going around the balcony and down the stairs, and so now you're into the hallway, um, and and you're at the the doors back into the front room. Uh, is there more to discuss? You guys want to continue in and crush? No, let's get this over with. Crush yeah. hearts. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Gerard will come in. You guys should all have control of your own peepses. Um, you see, it's it's just uh, Celia in here, and the the guard who had been up in the drunk tank, uh, he is keeping like tight watch at the doors. I'm gonna point at the guard and be like, "Where's Johnny? <laughs> who who who? He doesn't know his name. He was in the he, he was stabbed in the shoulder." Down in the basement. You left a uh, wounded guard to yeah, guard. Yeah, you know, floor? shoulder McStabby. Answer the question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he uh, he went home to rub some salve on that because like, he got stabbed in the fucking shoulder. So no one's guarding the hole. No, there's like three other people down there. Somebody, the, 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 in, intentional or not, there's somebody guarding the hole. Probably. Uh, that's a real lax definition on where we're going with this of someone's possibly uh, down there or not. I feel like we definitely need Yeah, I, I actually I, I don't know that anybody's anybody's down here. When the, the two came down that were guarding the the Durgar for some reason that were upstairs, uh the the uh the the the, the, the night watchman and, and, and the others uh went to follow them to see try to find out where the hell they were going. So wait, oh, the, the Durgar okay. came through here and left out the door. They did not go back down into the basement. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Why would they go to the basement? Uh, there's a hole why, in the basement. They... Well, yes, the basement is a hole, but why would they go to the... Oh, no, not early... the basement is a hole. The basement, there's a hole in the basement. That's how they invaded. They like, like the toilets? No, 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 no. Different hole. Durgar, they like one of the dig tunnels. You're this close for getting stabbed. I want to say that no, 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 different hole was a different title option, but <laughs> <laughs> a little too spicy. A little too spicy. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I would you like me to go see if anyone's downstairs? Yeah, or Anything? at least if that door is locked. Um, uh, okay. They broke down the door. No. no, they didn't break down the door. Not the gate. Remember, I went in. I locked us in there. Yeah, but they broke down the door that the hole is in. Oh, that's. I'm telling. There, there's a. Never mind. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> he will. He will head uh, this way into the drunk tank area, and uh, you hear a door open, and you hear him yelling, "Hey, anybody down there? Is is any, is anyone?" Guarding the hole. Excellent. Uh, if 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 anybody's down there, they're 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 silent, silent lipped. Uh, I don't. Great uh, news. You, I, you've I, been I, promoted. You are now he who watches the hole. Go on hold, down there. If we, anything pops up, hold. Call the alarm. Wait. Hold. Hold on. Hold on. We need somebody up here on the main floor. First. Where, where, where is Guard and Mahit Shield? Uh, they're in the room. With, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Miat Shield has come up in. Guard and Miat Shield are in the room with you. All right, all right. Del, uh, Delphina and Crufiel are still hanging out in the hallway, though. For some reason. All right. <laughs> they can do their own stuff. You. I say, what are you two doing back there? It's weird. Go, uh, guard, don't, who just don't worry about it. You guard who just shouted down there. You, uh, Luca, is 100 percent correct. You are now eyeballs on the hole and Mahit shield would you please stand by that door eyeballs anything comes out of that hole 
you shout, Mahit Shield shouts as well. The alarm it's, is raised. It's 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 Miat Miat Shield. There's there's no H. And um, that's exactly where I want you, Miat, right there. <laughs> Why are you so bad with names? It's foggy, a little haze, frosty. Oh. Okay, Frosty. Oh, oh the, the foggy. Oh, speak, kid. Speaking, yes. speaking of foggy, Frosty, Delphi, I got to talk to you. Um, not right now, because too much else is going on. Um, yeah. um, yes, we do have a lot to discuss internally as well. So, um, Cecilia, Cilia, Cilia. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. I'm sorry. You wanted eyeballs to go downstairs. Is yes. that right? Okay. Eyeballs on hole. He who watches don't the hole. Don't. No. He who watches no. the hole. <laughs> hey, Sees the, the hole. biscuits. Sometimes the hole stares back. <laughs> Sees the, bis- the biscuits. biscuits and gaze into the hole. Yeah. Um, I hate all of this. Celia. <laughs> Celia rounds to uh, to to see. Uh, who's talking to her? She sees the professor and shoots him the sourest of looks, and then turns back to whoever it was that. That was it, Flynn. That had uh, had yeah. said her name. Uh, yes, I, I trust everything went okay with your impromptu search to see if the speaker was okay. Uh, no, sit down, please. Um, uh, I, I, I am sitting down. This is my desk. Okay, good. Um, the speaker's dead. Um, he had a he Ooh, had, well, okay. Yep, he had he had dealings with the Durgar <sighs> and a, another speaker from one of the other extent towns, Speaker Prudence. Um, <sighs> That deal went south. The speaker is now dead. Prudence, our number one suspect, has now escaped. We need you to send word to um, the dwarf blacksmith here to meet us over at the Wolf Pelt Inn because we need to talk to him and the Winters family about some sort of provisionary leadership Grandma. going on here in the um, town. You just dropped it like it's hot, Flynn. Just um, it's cold okay. as hell outside, but um, okay. okay. Uh... And she, you can see that she has a, a bit of a tear forming at, at, after the uh, stories from the from the three women, and then seeing Durgar escorted from his office. I I want to be shocked and and say that it's horrible, but it, it just it just isn't horrible. Um. I, th- uh. Yeah, Grandel. You want Grandel to meet you at. Yes. At the at okay, I will I will uh, um uh uh Guard, uh, can you uh go over and and try try to wake him in the middle of the night uh for this secondary impromptu meeting? I at, at the wolf's belt. Helmet's emergent. He'll know what that means. Uh, and Gu- and Guard, he, he'll he'll yes to her and he'll look at all of you as though if you're gonna stop me, say it now. Please, <laughs> please go. Okay. <laughs> And Guard will head out. Um, I again, I, I am I a bad person for being okay with what has taken place? Oh, oh absolutely not. No, 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 no yeah, absolutely no. Not. no. I, Imdra um, puts a hand on her shoulder and says, "You're doing a fantastic job." Hey, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we're all through like grabbing each other's asses and and saying that everything's great, uh, can we get the hell out of the uh, the Durgar death hole here and go somewhere that's a little safer that maybe has a drink? Uh, that's yes. what we should have called it. The guard would have known what hole we were talking about. Yes. Uh, let's let's head over. Okay. So you guys want to head to? The wolf's wolf belt. belt. Okay. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. All right. So as we're walking over here, all right. So, um, whole vis-a-vis whole shenanigans. Now that we're having this little jaunt over to the wolf's belt, here's what happened. Right, Imdra. After the attack on the barracks, right, and we came in here, and everyone ran upstairs to go look for the speaker. Me and Zalvana went to the drunk tank and into the basement, which had a Durgar attack coming through. They dug a hole up into the basement and they all came flying through. All right? Um, but the Durgar actually did attack the town hall. Y- yes. 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 Or it's a surprise visit, however you want to look at it. No, no, 
Oh, the Durgar don't surprise. It's not like a actually a, no. It was it was half a surprise surprise visit. The Durgar in the office, I don't think came up through that hole. Or if they did, they like snuck around or whatever. Point is, how did they get up there? I think it was like a back way. We didn't check in there. there How'd they get upstairs? I mean, you guys followed footprints I if you remember. We know, do we oh, know? Can, I would say we know that we know at least some of them can go invisible. Uh, yes, all, all Durgar can go invisible. Um, you followed footprints to the front door where you found a guard who had been stabbed to death. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Why is yeah. there all this flour? Why was there flour all over the town hall? What the oh, hell? Yes, and, uh, and there's which, flour all over the fucking place. Yeah, speaking of which, um, uh, I need to... I need to... Uh, Get some flour to replace that. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to take a cup for later, guys. I'm going to make yeah. some biscuits. <laughs> I need <laughs> These two cups for biscuits. Yeah. So before we leave, uh, Celia is her name, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Celia, I don't want to be callous and assume that I can just pay my way out of whatever inconvenience that we have caused you here tonight, but I understand that food is in short supply. Would money help? Or is there something else that I can do for you? Um, I, 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 I don't know that the money would help. Uh, I, I'm not sure who would buy flour from, uh, when whomever is the new speaker gets, gets put in place. I, I'm sure they will talk to other, to to other towns and and they'll be able to get us to get us something. Uh, I, I thank you. I I know that we have gotten off on a bad foot, but thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, like I said, we are in a bit of a um a, a time crunch, but um. I I will make this right. I apologize. I will Ooh. be back. If the captain of the guard is still in town, send them over to the wolf's pelt as well. Captain Scaff. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, as soon as Guard gets back, I'll I'll see if if he can find like I'll, Captain, I'll, Captain Scaff. I'll, I'll, I'll look at everyone else. Like yeah, yeah, Captain. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that uh, Gandal, Grendal, Grendal, uh, Grendal. and and Mr. Uh, Mr. Winters, Mr. Mr. Winters, the proprietor of the Wolf Spelt will will know a few other trusted individuals that we can call to sort of a a, a council of sorts, so we can we'll we'll need time to assemble all the all the uh, necessary parties. We'll say. Okay. Is there anyone else, Celia, that you know of that? I, I'm trusted. I, I, I'm I'm sure that if there's anyone, Grandel will know. I was hoping so. All right. Well, thank you, Celia. I, uh, as I said, I will be in touch. DM, is it possible to get like a couple of handfuls of the flour that's been kind of thrown around all over the place? Or is sure. It... All right. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, take some and sprinkle it in front of the the doorway that leads down to the basement, and then sort of like all across the floor kind of like leading up to Celia's desk mm -hmm. and she's like if you see any footprints or if you don't hear from the guards downstairs I need you to leave here as fast as you can and come to the wolf pelt it is dangerous Celia okay and you'll see she'll slide her desk open and she will pull out a dagger and lay it on her desk. Understood. Be nice. careful. It's going to be a very long night. They they always are. Uh, okay, so you guys are going to head out? Yes. Yeah. So when you guys get outside, why doesn't everybody make me... Roll for initiative. A, okay. a, an initiative check, a perception check. Um, perception. Perception. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't, 
You don't have to make one. That's all right. Seven. You know, eleven. Using oh, a sense of smell life. or no? Boom. Dirty 20. I've been smoking my pipe. I probably can't for a little bit. 15. Okay. Oh, now well, it wouldn't matter. It's pipe. a natural one. So. <laughs> gotcha. So you definitely have been smoking the pipe. All right. So Imdra and Flynn. That was a little too strong. While there, <laughs> while there hadn't been a a big guard presence uh, before walking around, there's even less of a presence now. Um, Fuck. Imdra, you you for sure look <laughs> up on the walls where you know that there had been folks stationed at, at like all of the points on the walls, and maybe there's a third of what there had been on the walls and they're kind of clustered together. Um, but other than that, it's only like a block or maybe two blocks to, it's almost right across the way to the wolf's pelt. So um, you just, it, it's definitely seems less, less than it was, uh, but you're, you're easily able to make it to uh, the wolf's pelt in. Uh, this and you is get a pretty short walk, buddy. I'm sorry. Did you, just, did you say this is a pretty short walk? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like one or two blocks. So if you guys have right. a conversation that you want to have outside, you can. Uh, we'll just say that you're meandering a little while Indra and Flynn are trying to take stock of what's happening outside. No, I was hoping to to crack open that notebook on my way to see if I can begin deciphering it at all. Uh, we'll say that you can kind of crack it open for a minute and you, th you think that you're pretty, like nothing comes out right away. Like you see a name, but you think that you're pretty, you're clever and you're like, Oh, you know, if that's going to be this thing, I bet it's just, I bet it's just this and then I can, I can crack it. So you feel pretty confident that if you spend 15, 20, 30 minutes with it, that you'll be able to suss it out. So that's not what you wanted, but it's on the way to what you wanted. No. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I was, um, yes. Any other conversations? You see, right? In, okay, there you go. Um, is there is it's uh the the barracks we hit last no, or tonight uh is not on the way to the end, is it? It's not, but you know exactly where it is. You could probably, if you dashed, you could be there in a couple of minutes, and then back in a couple of minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'll meet y'all at the end. I'm going to go look at the barracks real quick. Okay. The rest of you are going... Flynn, please be very careful. Flynn. I'll be careful enough. Uh, I'll go uh, with Flynn. I'll no, raise no, my hand. no, no, <laughs> no, Luca. No. You don't stab me. You wait till later. <laughs> You're already up to two, Flynn. We got to get it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why is Luca going to stab you and... Do I need to stab Luca? No, did you not hear about the shenanigans? There's a lot of shenanigans going on vis-a-vis -vis the hole in the thing. I may have locked us in a, in, the, in the room with the hole to, to kill off a bird for the Durgar, and then I may have gotten him roped into all this shenanigans. So 10 gold to fight a war party and lock me in the room with them. 10 gold. How much did I, I pay you? How much did I pay you? You paid me 20, uh -huh. but you know what? Mm -hmm. I asked for 10 gold per head, and I at least killed three things in that one fight. I ain't shaking. Well, on well <laughs> normally when we help people, we we do it for free. So actually, 10 yeah, also, or 20 gold to talk a about lot. that also. All right, so <laughs> haggling for heads aside, Flynn, I think you're 100% right. Go to the barracks. Try to get as many soldiers as you can to either come here to the town hall or get up on the walls. Like Imdra just side eyes Luca is like, we're gonna talk about that stabbing people thing. <laughs> but if we can pay to have you help us out, rest assured you'll get your gold. Okay. Uh then I will promise to withhold stabbing <laughs> for 12 hours if you would like me to watch his back while he goes over there. I'm enjoying this fresh air. It's been a while since I've had fresh air. Yeah, you guys don't notice his stink like nearly as bad out here. Oh, oh yeah, no, we noticed his, the lack of it. His, That's his, yeah. His pick pin lines. <laughs> uh, okay, so 
Flynn's going to the barracks. The rest of you are going to the wolf's pelt. Yes. Mm. I have not heard a yes of me going with Flynn or a no with me going to Flynn. So I'm just kind of in one spot. Come on, Luca. <laughs> Luca, you live there. Okay. Life. Okay. All right. Flynn and Luca are going to the barracks. Delphina, Professor Imdra, and Valen are going to the Wolf's Belt. Imdra will uh, like whistle real quick at Luca uh, before he gets out of earshot, and then she's just gonna real quick pitch uh, a ten gold piece at him. You stab him. I will cleave you in twain. Okay, just, I won't stab him. Yeah, yeah, Luca. <laughs> She'll treat you just like she treats a speaker's head. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and but, no, remember, but Valen, Valen will, uh, well, she said it really kind of hushed so only your party could hear it. And then she'll laugh and she'll turn and start heading toward the wolf's pelt. Oh, she's still coming with us? Yes. Have fun with her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so you guys, uh, except for Flynn and Indra, uh, Flynn and Luca, uh, you guys make it back to the uh, the Wolf's Pelt Inn. Uh, you're very familiar with it. Um, Theobald and Josie are there, and they are um, the, the the three women from before are there, and the uh, they're you know taking care of them, getting them some food and some some hot beverage and uh, getting them cleaned up. You can see that some of them are in, in some different clothes than they had been. Um, the the daughters are assisting with uh, with with taking care of them. Uh, when the door opens, they'll they'll kind of start and turn around, and Theo will seemingly reach for a blade and then see it's all of you, and then they all relax. Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Oh, what in God's name is going on over there? What Has, is the Zelvana brings these 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 poor women over and tells us that the speaker was going to put them in a involuntarily in a brothel and uh, uh, what is happening in this town? Not going to be an issue anymore because the speaker is dead. <gasps> there was a Durgar attack on both the barracks and the town hall. Professor, do you have? Uh, the Durgar killed the speaker? Uh, well, there was a, uh, a, co a confrontation uh, between the speaker, the Durgar, uh, the Durgar's assistant, Prudence, and, and ourselves. And uh, you, you hear a loud noise, and you all turn and look, and Josie has slammed down a bottle and, like, four glasses, and she says, Good. Fuck him. And then she starts pouring drinks for all of you and slides them out. As just someone, jog my someone, jog my memory, which one was the one that slept with Flynn? That is the oldest daughter, Terrace. Terrace. All right, good. And she she is over with the other the other daughters uh, helping the right. the three. And Josie leans in close for all of you, as a mother of five daughters myself. If ever there was a speaker, or anyone for that matter, trying to sell them into sex, I would be, well, let's just say, I would be getting my fill of their blood. So fuck that guy. And she takes a shot and she slams it down and slams it back. And she looks at all of you. Waiting on you, I seemingly to take, to take your drink. Uh, well, if he looks at the professor, be like, I, can't I argue with you. that. And mm -hmm. the professor will take his drink as well. And so I told um, you the people would be for it. Could, could I trade mine for some lavender tea, please? Uh, oh, honey, this is lavender. This is lavender, lavender tea whiskey. Uh, it's lavender whisk, whisk tea. It's, it's, it's. Oh, I've, 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 been, <laughs> I've never had that before. And I'll, do you, do you sip it? Oh, no, no. You just, you just shoot it right oh. back. Oh, oh, no. Shoot it right back and then go. <sighs> And breathe in, and you'll, and the lavender will. It'll hit you. Okay. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it is, it is not in the least lavender, and it, it burns, but, but again, you're in Icewind Dale, so Ow, that, that, that burn, <sighs> at first it's aggressive, and then it's like, 
oh, I actually feel warm inside, like I just had a warm meal. And so it's a little bit unpleasant, but it's also a little bit pleasant. Welcome to drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, oh, that's... I'm sorry, kids. That, that's not um, any kind of lavender tea I've ever had, <clears throat> but it's it's not it's not bad. I'll it's not. I'm still thirsty though, so I'll, I could take a little more. <laughs> Absolutely, and she'll she'll refill the glasses. Um, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hop over to. Uh, I'm gonna grab Flynn. Uh, Professor's is gonna sit down and immediately just crack open that book and start. Absolutely. Just tearing through. So we're gonna say that Flynn and Luca. Oh, and Buddy Camera. <laughs> are. Hey, camera. Oh. Meanwhile, with Shanks for the memories. Oh. Hey, <laughs> you guys aren't on that page. Hold on, I had you staged just in case you were. Uh, so Flynn, you guys, you guys show up, and the front door is open. Uh, the the dead Durgar that you guys had iced earlier is still laying out front. You mean the one we punched through the wall? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the uh, the door is open, and seems to be not a whole lot going on. Uh, I'm gonna walk in the front door and yeah. go to where uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this without even like fully looking. I'm gonna go look to where the um, the pot of plenty was. Okay. Sure. Uh, are you gonna move your token in there? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> you know that it had been kind of in this this vicinity here, uh, but yeah. there it is. There's nothing um, nothing in that room anymore. I uh, you... walk in. It's like huh. Ah! Great. <laughs> um, do you want to explore any more of the uh, the building? Um, I will talk, yell, is anyone left here? Hey, buddy, sorry to cut in. Uh, just want to make sure we definitely pulled that bag of Chardolin out from that chimney and took it with us. <laughs> okay, nice, nice retcon. Okay. <laughs> yes. Fair. Uh, Wait, no, when, I, I'm when, sorry. I assumed because you're the harbingers, you've already ransacked the office, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> even Luca. Yeah, I was there for that thirty minutes. I mean, oh yeah, man. Yeah, Velen and even, I went through that desk and the body <laughs> pretty. Thoroughly. I haven't even been rolling with the screw for like an hour, and I absolutely we did. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Imdra, when when he fishes the bag out of, he had it stashed up the chimney. When he fishes it out, you immediately immediately recognize it as one of the bags that had been in East Haven that was then lost during the siege that you had no idea where it went. Xander was pretty pissed about the fact that it got out of y'all's control. Um, and you know that there had been three bags in there at one time. And this is definitely one of those bags. Um, nope. Yeah, so Flynn, you, you hear... No response. And if you if you look down the hallway, you can see kind of all the other doors seem like they're ajar. You see the dead Durgar laying there in the hallway and the two giant bug things, which you guys still don't know what the hell they are. Yeah, th th this is just like confirming like my hypothesis. Um... Y'all fucked some shit up earlier, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> Um, well, uh, there's nothing here. We can go back and meet up with everyone else. Okay. We'll put you guys back over on the other tab. Um, yeah, so you guys, you guys roll in and, uh, you see the, again, the, the three women have... They've been cleaned up. They've been put in some fresh clothes. They've they've eaten. They're a little bit relaxed. They seem like they're, you know, about to, to, to be hitting a bed. You see the rest of your party, uh, kind of at the bar, with Josie and Theobald. Uh, you definitely see that there's a, an empty, bottle. 
and another bottle and there's some shot glasses and for as beautiful and white and pristine as she is, Delphina has the rosiest red cheeks that you have seen on someone in a very, very long time. Um, and you, you walk in and Josie is Flynn and you see Theobald just like hit her on the on the elbow. Of He's like, bitch, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Josie. Hi. Hey. D Hi, guys. Oh, and I Lord. wave, and the she's... cup is still in my hand, and it sloshes everywhere. Uh, she's she's has discovered she... lavender whisk tea. Has she just had the one? One at a time, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, look at all these glasses. That doesn't look like just one and done. <laughs> oh, one, uh, one, one at a time? I... This might be worse than a deal with the fucking devil. Um, it doesn't right. even burn as much anymore. Oh, you, need to, you should stop. You should stop then. Or you gotta as ruin someone's time, Flynn. <laughs> as he reaches for me, I'll actually drop the cup. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't yuck her yums, sweetie. You do you do you, sweetie. She's about to yuck all over the floor if you don't. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's less about yucking her yums and more about. Yumming that yuck that she's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys have never seen a cleric drink before, have you? <laughs> All right, uh, Professor. Um, bad news, bad news. Um, pretty sure Mercs have all split town, which is actually like record time, like for the, your boss kicking it and then. Wait, wait, what, uh, what do you, what do you mean the, what do you mean the mercs of, this is, um, Theo, what do you mean the mercs have left town? Uh, uh, the, all the, all the, the new and improved guards are all gone? Yeah, I don't pretty sure. know if that's good or bad. I mean, they were pretty Just shitty. Wait till you but... get the other bad news. Oh, good. Like, like, like I said, it's bad and it's bad. Uh, uh, Theo will have pulled a couple of glasses down for the two of you, and Josie will will fill those glasses. Oh, okay, what's is is this other bad or worse bad, or maybe I not as a, bad? I need bad. a map. I need a map. Uh, maybe not as bad because it was kind of lorded over y'all as a curse. Anyway, like a double edged sword. Um, the pot's gone. The 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 the, the food pot. It's hmm. in the kitchen. Uh, thanks. That, thanks yes, no, that is right. Yes, it is. Yes, that's it where is. we keep the pots. That is right. Um, yeah, uh, can, you're, can I you're have right. A map, please. Uh, it, a map of what? Uh, ten towns. Uh, the the Brinchander, East Haven, uh, Targos, um, Termalane. Lucas going to pull out his uh, his map case and pull out the maps he at least of 10 towns maybe not of the specific towns but a general map of 10 towns yep 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 uh saying especially then since he has that yes i yes, will yes, uh yes. uh oh sorry i moved myself there and then didn't huh? move you um we'll let you guys see what's going on here for a minute the, you, you notice that the professor has spent some time uh, studying this journal and still having drinks, but uh, maybe not as quickly as the rest of you and has been uh, studying this this book that he took off of the speaker. Yeah. I mean, definitely after that first shot, I mean, liquor is not really his thing. So he would have watered down whatever she had and just sipped it from there. So, Professor, the it, a, it actually makes the, the shitty wine that they have taste a little better if you water it down with some of their wine. Ooh. So, Professor, the That's plan that you appalling heard... to the Professor, but he's intrigued. So, yeah, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'm Indra. sorry, sorry, Indra. What were you saying? The plan that you heard from the Durgar. They were trying to build, you said a road? Uh, a, a, a road uh, slash uh, tunnel, yes. Uh, uh, if I'm reading this correctly, it seems um, they were planning to charge a toll along the road. Um, 
uh, they were going to set up between Targos and East Haven to completely cut out Bryn Shander. Um, uh, it looks like uh, possibly um, uh, it was a uh, yeah, m- mostly mostly underground. They were planning to uh, to to keep it warm, uh, brightly lit, uh, possibly with uh, with uh, vendors of some sort underneath. Uh, if I'm reading this correct, I mean I yeah I'm, yes I'm reading it correctly. Yes, there were. Uh, proposed vendors it looks like possibly contracts beginning to be set up um and a list of operatives of some sort or associates um with um it seems to be who stands to be next in line to inherit the speakership of each town? Uh, give give me give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, while he while he's looking that over, uh, I'm sorry, Luca. Go ahead. Well, if they plan on cutting out Brim Shander, they're not really going to be doing themselves a whole lot of good because the only way really in and out of Icewind Dale is through the road, taken through Brim Shander. Well, yes, but it's not like anyone's been able to get in or out and. At, at least the last year, if not almost the last two years, because of this damn rhyme. We're going on two years now. God, it's been that long. All the passes are, long. all the passes are, closed and frozen over, and there's yeah. few people here with high enough magics to teleport in and out, and those that have it want to charge. <laughs> want to charge uh, an, an arm and a leg. Uh, no. anything from the rest of you, uh, Flynn, Delfina, how's that whisk tea sitting? You're, you're, ch- baby, you're, you're feeling it. You're like, ah, uh, you've never felt this sensation. Too bold. I can't wait to share these with Levi. Jesus. Well, that sobered me up. Um, <laughs> Too bold. Uh, yes. Indra? If the mercenary army is gone, how many troops remain here in Targos of the original militia? I don't know, maybe maybe 80 or 100. Uh, that's just a guess, though. Uh, folks folks come and go. And how could we, how could we rally them? There, there has been an attack, a Durgar attack on both the barracks and then also the town hall tonight. And I don't think it's going to be the last. They're coming for Targos. With their death holes. From the death holes. Um I uh, uh let me let me let me think about that. I'm I'm sure that that, that Grandel could could probably uh you know get, get some folks rousted up and and, and maybe I don't know, maybe Justin could get some. Uh Ma might know a few people. I mean, there, there, there are people here. Um, we could, we could see. I mean, can will it hold until the morning? It's, I mean, it's always night here, but it's the middle of the night. And we uh, have. Looks at professor. How much time? Um. Well, the uh, the Durgar will be here. Tomorrow they gave us a uh, twenty twenty four hours. Um, unfortunately. We might have a problem. Uh, hey, buddy. Yeah. How how heavy is this sack that I'm holding right now? Full of chardolin? Um, you know, eight or ten pounds. I was afraid of that. Yeah, you were. Um. Wait. Well, folks. Uh. Wait. The um. The speaker has promised the Durgar a, a total of 500 pounds of Chardolin. Um, ah! <laughs> Let me go ahead and crunch those numbers in my head. Yeah, it seems that he was planning to uh, to slowly trickle out what they had stolen from East Haven um, <laughs> to kind of appease the Durgar for now, but, I mean, all of the sacks were roughly the same size, and this is nowhere near enough to to satisfy their deal 
No, uh, I got it. We're fucked. <laughs> yes. And, so, and break. <laughs> and that, and that, uh, I'm going to let you finish, Professor, and then we're going to go to break. No, I, so Flynn, uh, to answer your question, uh, we, no, I don't. No, no, yeah, yeah. I don't think nope. we'll be getting the, Dur <laughs> the Durgar or the Shardalin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which uh -huh. means we fight. Josie, another one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's whisk tea all around, and she'll just she'll hit all of the glasses, and as you as you all start to let this sink in, except Delphina, who may not quite understand the gravity of the situation, uh, you see that uh, Zavana and the other Zavana and the other daughters at this point have put the the three women to bed uh, and kind of give a sign that they're resting, resting comfortably, um, and uh, and you all kind of look at each other and. Have a have a sip of your drink or have a shot of your drink and then th Chip. think about things. Welcome back, everyone. I uh I, I don't even know what to say about the first half. There's been there's a lot going on. The the crew have a lot of decisions to make. They've uh dealt with the the aftermath of the 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 fight in the town hall. Um that we saw last week, the death of the speaker. They seem to find that the the militia guard, uh, many of who were mercenaries, have uh, just deuced out uh, and have left the town guarded, maybe at one third of the level that it was. About 16 more hours, there's going to need to be a frost maiden sacrifice unless they just give her the double fingers. And in about 23 and a half hours, probably going to be some sort of Durgar attack. Let's pick back up. Everybody's getting drunk. <laughs> Not like a lot drunk. I just need like the yeah. dramatic shot to, <laughs> to deal with what's going on right now. Yeah, like the warm floaties. That's what we're looking mm. for. Um, okay. Please. Okay, so... But at this point, like kind of during this, the uh, Josie has also brought out some some food for you guys to munch on to soak some of that alcohol up, and um, and you know it's kind of a midnight snack because it's it's probably twelve thirty ish. It's a it's it's a little after midnight, uh, twelve thirty. Maybe it's as late as one a.m. Is Grendel here? Not just yet. I'm gonna let you guys have one round of talking before we break into initiative for that. Oh my god, actual food. <laughs> bread bread tacos? Yes, bread bread tacos. Mm-hmm. Bread tacos, Delphi. Definitely bread tacos. Uh Josie will look at you, Flynn, like, what? If you just do it's like some this is bread, and mm -hmm. then you put the butter in the bread, and then you just fold the bread in half and you eat it like that. Mm, all right, that's not pretty good. Yeah, and she'll right. she'll motion to one of the girls. <laughs> when, when you see that that a couple of the girls have gone to bed as well, but Isn't one of the it? one of the girls will go and get uh, provisions and bring out a a platter and watch Flynn and Delphi make bread tacos to learn the technique. Isn't that just a Isn't that just a fire sausage? I'm a what? The the bread tacos. It's a fire sausage. It's Never heard it called that. Bread. Take the sausage. Put the sausage. Fold, fold it. And it's fire sausage. Hmm. Are you okay. drunk, Andrew? <laughs> no, I, we make those all the time. And it, it's a seriously, you guys never had a fire sausage? Uh, do no. you make fire sausage out of just plain butter? Because that's no, this, no, no, this no, is no, just no, butter. No, no, yeah, that's no, so what I'm saying. Like the because the butter is, seems kind of tame, like in terms of like just bread and then butter. That's... So you're talking about a sausage taco? No, no, fire sausages. Because you just fire put the fire sausage. The... Mouth mouthful of bread. No bread, bread. Bread tacos. I hate to interrupt, but we have some very important matters to discuss. <laughs> the right. uh, the door the door swings open, uh, <laughs> and in walks in. Roll for initiative. No. Mm -hmm. uh, What's his name? <laughs> oh, okay. And Sorry. It, about and that. in walks in a uh, an an elderly but still quite fit uh, gold dwarf. Um, and in uh, leading him in is, uh, is, is Guard, and he looks at all of you and, and, and kind of nods his head and closes the door. And you, you can kind of pick up from his stance that he, 
will be standing outside of that door and is just assuming that as a post. What other guy's getting paid? It's not enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring Guard a, a lavender whiskey shot. Uh, 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 uh um, thank you, but uh, not if I'm if I'm on duty, I I can't I can't have that. Thank, just, thank you though. Just something for the cold. Mm. Th he will take it and hold it, but he will not. Uh, he will drink not it. drink it. Drink it. He's he's try. He's one of those I just, few. I just caught that his last name is Granite Fist. That's oh yeah, awesome dwarf name. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, 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 the sense that that all of you kind of get from Guard and even from Miat Shield as well is that as folks who grew up here, they are. They are the narrow few who you guys are talking about when you say there are people who would defend this town. They they can be counted, you feel like, among those small percentage ranks of folks who believe in the job that they're doing. Exactly. Uh, and so Guard is very thankful for the drink, but he's just standing there. He's got his spear in one hand. He's at attention and he's got the drink in his other hand and he's just posted outside the door. <sighs> now, what's all this about? It's it's the middle of the night. Yep. Um, I'm I'm just gonna give this out to you as bluntly as as I can. Go mm. for it. Because we don't we 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 don't have the time. Um, the speaker is dead. The speaker was corrupt and was working with um, a corrupt speaker of another town. Um, atrocities include, but are not limited to, um. Uh, 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 rigging the lottery, mm. um, uh, occupying army, for uh, the the money, like uh, extorting people for for free food, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 snatching women off the streets for a house of ill repute, working with the Durgar, um, the list goes on. But for right now, the speaker's dead, and there's no one to lead the town. Um, we have reason to. For for right now he's dead, as in he might not be dead soon. And he's no, gonna no, look. No, no, he's no, gonna no. look at you, Delphina. Oh, you're you're just precious. Can can I have a, a bit of that? And he's gonna take your drink from you, and he's gonna he's gonna drink your drink, and Josie will ref refill it. So we're gonna have an undead speaker. No 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 no. The speaker is dead. Comma. For now, there is no one to lead the town. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do it? And I'll point at Granite Fist. <laughs> Uh, you're just the sweetest thing, aren't you? Bread, bread taco. Ah, good choice. <laughs> uh, well, I, I I would have to be elected by the people. To... I vote you. <laughs> you <laughs> don't have any, like, emergent powers when, you know, shit's about really to hit the fan. You're when my... you dropped, you didn't give him all the blunt news. I'm, I'm you're, my, you're my favorite so far. And he's going to point at you, Luca, and like, I don't really care for you at all yet. Back to you, Flynn. Now, what's the rest that you didn't tell me? Right. Um. So, the Durgar. Oh. That that the speaker was working with. The speaker was working with the Durgar. Yes. Yes, yes he was. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm with this guy he says he says something in Dwarvish. I don't know if any of you. Uh, uh, actually, I do know if any of you speak Dwarvish and. No, none of that's you speak our it. Constant hurdle. That is so our constant hurdle. that was the one thing Xander was good for is that he also spoke dwarvish. Um, rest his soul. Um, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> not not so far as you know. Um, he says something that even though none of you speak dwarvish, you know that it was dirty, like like dirty, dirty, as in angry, dirty. When to find out that the speaker was working with, with the Durgar. Right. So Theo, are you over here? Because I need you. I need you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Flynn, I'm. I'm the, like right here. You have you. How much have you had to drink? Two. <laughs> it's a long night. Much. <laughs> um. You. Right. You. You hear in the background, Terrace go. I'll say. <laughs> anyway, um, so in case no one remembers, Flynn has already had an entirely full evening with one of the daughters. Um, Flynn ain't the only one thirsty. 
<laughs> <laughs> she ain't thirsty no more. So the, the speaker's dear. Oh, yes. <laughs> deal. Biscuits make you thirsty. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuits. Make you thirsty. Make you thirsty. <laughs> What no. is currently number one for the title of the for the episode title? All right. All right. Um, All right well, yeah. spit it, spit it out. He's making a deal with the Durgar. Yeah. Oh no, the deal's gone bad, and the Durgar are gonna in twenty four hours. The Durgar are gonna burn down the town if they don't get the payment. The speaker promised them. And guess what? He, he doesn't have it. Um. And with the speaker dead and his cohorts now missing, the militia or the the hired militia have are not here anymore as far as i can tell i checked one of the barracks and it's is barren hmm well yeah that's the right shit show to wake up to um this couldn't have kept till the morning no no we have it we have we have 24, 24 hours you said 24 hours yeah also we've also got like the the, the sacrifices of the frost maiden that y'all have to deal with um, so like it's gonna be a that full day. Bitch. Uh, I feel like that's the look, back, back burner. But you know, I, uh, why don't we just not even consider that that sacrificing people was the idea of those two nut job druid sisters, Ravison and Vernus. Holy, uh, hey, those uh, are uh, names. Hold on I, a second. I, <laughs> I suppose we're lucky enough that only three of the towns were swayed to that. They should have sent them back to Lonelywood in a box the minute it was brought up. <sighs> okay, fine. That's just going to be your non-issue for right you, now. Do you guys get those names? Do you want them again? One more time, please. please. Ravishim and Vernus? Ravison, R-A-V-I-S-I-N, and Vernus, V-U-R-N-I-S. Nutjob Druid Sisters, according to Grendel. Um, I, I mean, how much more can she take from us realistically? She's put us in this hellscape for two years. Maybe we don't give her the sacrifice and she just ends it all and then we don't have to deal with any of it anymore. Grendel, so I think we should maybe not think about that. Grendel, do you think the people of this town, is it better to get them out or will they actually defend Targos against the Durgar? I mean, it's each according to their abilities, I guess. So some will defend the town, but if we get them out, where will, where will we go? I know a place I mean, where there's like five open taverns that people could stay in. How? Like five empty How crazy taverns. is it to consider an assault upon the Durgar before they can launch their attack? Ah, mm. uh, that's Probably a tough one. They, they 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 live somewhat decentralized. I mean, there's there's talk of a of one of the 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 sunblight clans in in the in the mountains somewhere, but I, I don't know that anyone knows exactly what it is. So, what about uh, could we could we mount an expedition and find an encampment in the mountains in before twenty four hours? Uh, what about the tunnels? It's almost have to lead somewhere, right? Uh, they do. Uh, some of them lead back to where they started, which isn't always home base. Some of them lead, unfortunately, into the Underdark. And I know that I can't keep a, a same accent. It's the Kevin Costner syndrome and the Nicol <laughs> Nicolas Cage syndrome. So I'm aware of it. Hashtag, thank you. Because unlike um, other Robin Hoods. Mm -hmm. I speak with a British accent. Um, the, uh, you take, take a wrong turn in a tunnel, get lost in the Underdark. You're there forever until something eats you. I mean, Imdra, I, I, I'm honestly our best bet at this point. It's probably just a mount of defense. Or, um, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Or, um... Wait, 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 wait. He's going to get a drink ready. Okay, continue. Or uh, st when when they come back, see if the head one will take a fight one-on-one -on -one 
and as as the sort of payment for this this ordeal right here, right? They come back. You, you so, you, Lynn, are you trial by combat? Trial, trial, by, it, I, yeah. trial by combat. Uh huh. I, I gotta I gotta admit I, I I like where Luca's heads at for this one. I uh. Who would fight him? Like uh, I, I imagine, three. all the hands in the bar go up. <laughs> all <laughs> all like, of them except for de, for the professor. Like even drunk Delphine is like, I'll fight him. <laughs> say, who would be who would be that foolhardy to fight this person? Um, hi. I uh. <laughs> oh, I'm pointing at Imdra. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, Imdra's uh, pointing at Imdra. <laughs> so. I li- I like your chutzpah, lad, but uh, unfortunately, I. I've never known a Durgard to have that much honor. Have you? Uh, I, up until today, yeah. Because I, for what it's worth, I was able to at least buy us today. <laughs> was that honor or was that him saving his own skin? Column A, column B. It's two very different things, which I would think that you'd know the difference in, lad. No. <laughs> he, and he's going to eye you up and down. And he goes, yes, you do. You know the difference. And he's going to finish that drink and Josie will hit him again. All right. So um, in the morning, we tell the town the speaker's dead. Um, hopefully with the word of you two here, we can keep some kind of order and then we what batten down the hatches and prepare for a Durgar attack hey, who leads until we can hold elections <gasps> Zelda does <gasps> baby well a child a, a child there's, will lead there's, us there's, there's a right <laughs> a right pretty child right there that might lead us <laughs> right into a nap um <laughs> I, uh, Durga, aren't you, aren't you, Imdra? Sure am, little one. Sure am. <laughs> you, uh, you all look a little, a little worse for wear, let's say. Let me, uh, why don't you rest? Let me talk to a few of the others and I'll meet you back here in the morning and we'll get a plan together. Um, if you happen upon any any of the the hired militia around town kill them they... kill them no uh, no no uh, no no not, <laughs> not, not oh, this need... time yeah. not this time um we might be able to pay them maybe tell, tell them they, we, we can make it interesting for them if they stick around for they can have all the flour they want off the floor in the town hall <laughs> um, biscuits for everybody biscuits <laughs> uh all right i'll uh I'll 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 try to impress that upon them. Uh okay. Get get some sleep and he'll uh he'll finish that drink and he'll look at you, Delphina, and like take the last of your bread taco and like eat it and get to... You you are my favorite. You are I my like favorite. Him. Uh the dwarves tend to like you, Delphina. One of them gave me a present. Yep. Uh, we're... <laughs> oh, did he now? What, what did he give you? I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. It's in my pocket. You're going to have to get it. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right. You know what? I'm we'll ta- we'll we'll talk about it in the in in the morning. Uh, you're still my favorite, yeah. though. Uh, everyone. It's a little. Th- it's ev- everyone. Be safe. And he's going to head to the door. And uh, it's a goat. And, and holding it by not a leg. So uh, Grandel is not <laughs> is not seeing this, but why don't you describe for Luca, who has not seen it yet, exactly what you have. <sighs> and for Maiden of Orleans, who was right there off of the screen. It ah. is. <laughs> From Sorry. out of the mist she appears. <laughs> Sorry, Zelda. <laughs> it is a it is a uh, little little carved goat out of scrimshaw and it's this beautiful little goat with 
four legs, though you might think it's five because of the giant dick that's hanging down. Yeah, it's like a baby's arm holding it <laughs> up. It's like a baby's <laughs> arm holding it up. Oh, a tripod, don't you? Yeah, you put it down <laughs> and it teeters a little bit. So, yeah, like and it was a gift to me from a dwarf. Teeter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it uh, has a beautiful pouch that he stays in. That's no, uh, uh, no. I forgot about the pouch. Lined in pink velvet, and the outside is this really hairy, dark fur. He's got a hairy pouch, is what you're saying. Yes. And Luca, it looks in. like it won't fit in there, but if you it, do it just right, it just slides right in. It slides right in. Fits like a glove. Uh, as I she's showing. If you wonder why we're shutting down this stream, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Twitch, we just got this is, it's Twitch, not, because uh, of my this is not yes. it. We our viewers just went up and we got into that <laughs> yeah, section. No, we got um, but uh but yeah, so it, you you guys watch that she's showing that to Luca who is laughing and mortified. And the, the adorable time. children and the giant penises. What more could you want? Uh you see as as Grendel walks out the door that uh Guard is still standing at attention. With his uh, with his spear and still has the drink in his hand, and Grandel comes out and pats him on the shoulder and takes the drink <laughs> and drinks it and hands him the empty glass back, and then closes the door behind him and heads off into the night. Okay. So now it is it is the uh, the five of you and Josie and Theobald. Uh, Valin, at some point in all of this, uh, laid down. In, in kind of not in a cot, but like in one of the banquette seats, and is seemingly lightly napping. And uh, Zavanna, you, you, she's come and checked in a couple of times, but she's still with the the others. the 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 one who had been beaten is still in a bit of pain, so Zavanna's trying to help her help her along with that. So ur urgent matters. Uh, First of all, the lottery. Are we all in agreement that we are going to? Uh, I mean, Mister Mister Granitefist seemed to think that that would play itself out, and um, are we are we agreed to let that happen? Um, uh, like, yeah. Do we could we do could convince the town for? Should we should we worry about a sacrifice of light or train the town montage? Train the town montage. Food, uh, sacrifice of food or something? Uh, obviously, human uh, sacrifice is, is out. But... You know what? We might have already taken care of the sacrifice of food. Mm, I don't Ooh. know if that works. In two different ways. The, uh, Ronnie, that's brilliant. As Well, we could we could possibly sweep up the flower. But like, they, just then... have to, they just have to go without, right? Or do they have to throw something into, into, the, into the water? How do uh, they typically do a sacrifice of food? Is do they burn it? How do they? What do they do? Or they uh, send it on a goat or something into the glacier? A, a lot of towns <laughs> will uh, like like maybe a mile out of town. They'll they'll have a post erected where they will hang like a a, a whole <laughs> day's all of these like little drifts of ice with like goats on them, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just laden, laden with food. Like meh, meh, <laughs> meh. And send it off. It's um, moving ice and goats. <laughs> they uh, they they'll often like maybe like a, a mile out, half mile or mile outside of town. There'll be a post erected, and they'll do like an entire day's catch of fish. They'll just hang it on this post uh, for creatures who are aligned with the frost maiden. Like the they say that the the yeti are aligned with the frost maiden and uh, you know crag cats and and things like that. That they are the 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 animals of the, of the frost maiden uh so generally it's a it's a day's worth of food for the town and while that was at 10 sacks of flour that that's could be construed as pretty close to a, a day's uh worth of food were it to be turned into something that was edible um so that's that's completely possible it's not something i had thought about but very very good role play uh, I mean, it, it would be. A, it, I mean, especially if we could exactly, some... Luca. Exactly, days worth of biscuits. Just yeah. I mean, it wouldn't matter if we swept it off the floor. If it was just going to be fed to Yetis anyway. I, I really don't think the Frost Maiden is the big concern here. I mean, obviously the overarching concern for all of the Dale, but 
Yes, I just what if we can solve that seems like the easiest problem to solve at the moment without too much effort put in. Because like whether uh, I don't know, we feel like it's a, a thing to solve right now, they're gonna ask about it in the morning and we can't just be like, I don't know, fuck you for this. We still got other problems to deal with. Yeah. I, I did tell I did tell Celia at the at the town hall that I would check back in with her and uh. Um, I, I I will also say you you just as kind of the DM jumping in you you do have to be careful that you're not conflating your beliefs with everyone else's beliefs. So if if there are those in the town who believe that it's appeasing the Frost Maiden, you can't mm-hmm. simply use your pragmatic "fuck that bitch" approach because I mean this is this is a world of religions and and people who believe yeah. devoutly in in things like that yeah because we we because we we fucked this town six ways from sunday in the matter of a night so so long run seven if you count terrace <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, second important order of business. Do we have any idea where our friends are? And with the speaker gone and most of his mercenaries missing, now might be the time to rescue them. They might, they might be, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I tried to, you... to get, I tried to get some answers from the Durgar. Um, they best they could tell me that they didn't. They don't take people. They just kill them. So, um, well, that's at least so. I guess that's something that we, we know that they're not being held with them. It's something they're they're not being held. They're dead. I. I pains me to my core to say this, but we're just gonna have to 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 like let to chase the lead on that one once we're done here. Um, didn't especially especially if if um if Prudence is, is skipped town with both the pot and the the Mercs, and you know if um if Xander and Fariel are you know high ranking targets to them to begin with, they're going to be taken with them, right? They weren't they weren't in they weren't in the drunk tank and in the basements. They weren't being held at the um at the barracks. They weren't being held at the at the hotel. Like I. I had, I had no idea where like where where they could be or where they would be going next, or I could I can probably say for sure that they won't be here anymore if Prudence cleared out as quickly as she did with everything else. We're sure they're not in the the other the other inn that was in here. You, I mean. Professor, you were part of the group that explored that. Was there? We were told that they were possibly in a basement, but we never found a basement there. But there was the room that the speaker paid for well in advance that we were unable to gain access to. Okay, so we can either have some of us take the rest and. Uh, some people go check out the ta- uh, check out the speaker's room to see if there's any information in there that we could uh, use to locate our friends, or at the very least, uh, uh, maybe we could figure out the where he had the treasury located, so we could you know pay for some mercenaries, or at least pay for the guards who are going to stay here. But we need to rest, get the town ready for the attack, and then also try to figure out a way, the best way to defend it. Uh, I would think the town hall would be uh, a good rally point, but town hall's got a hole in it. I mean, there's, but it's really easy to guard a hole. So, oh my God, so many titles. <laughs> Bracking them in today. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's the whole truth. Oh my <laughs> God. Targos <laughs> uh, uh. has a wall, which is yeah. That's what I'm thinking beneficial but if the Durgar can can burrow then it's it's impossible right. it's right. impossible to fortify any location because they can always hit us where we're weakest right but think about like the locations that they've hit before it's so they need they're coming for the Shardlin 
They think the Chardolins in the town hall. Where, where, where did they tell you to meet? Where, where did they give you a location that they wanted you to meet or? No, no. So we at least know that they're coming and we know that they're gonna be looking for the Chardolin. So at, at least at the beginning of that, they're not looking for a fight, but they're gonna be willing to drop some pain on us, which is fine by me because I will bust some Durgar heads. The, they also can't burrow through a lake. If we could get onto the lake, possibly. Well, they have the, the makeshift port. If we go ahead and move the people out to the port, get them into a ship, at least then they'd have a, a way to escape. I mean, and you're right, Durgar can't burrow through water. And at the very least, uh, we've they, they leave tracks. So if they're invisible, we'll be able to see them on the ice and the snow. Yes, it, w- it would put it would put things on a, a an even playing field, I think. We would at least be able to see them coming out on the lake. But wouldn't I'll- the people believe they are being... Assuming we haven't figured out the sacrifice thing first, Assu- they will assume that they are all being put out onto a boat to be sacrificed because you put sacrifices near all the gold shit. Is that how this works in this town? I've been in a basement for so long. 48 hours, know. yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they typically would, would strip the strip the poor souls down uh, to nothing and force them to march out onto the ice until either the cold takes them or they reach the edge and are, let's say, compelled to go into what liquid water exists far out past the makeshift dock. I mean, what if we, what if we tell the people that we offer up the Durgar as the sacrifice? I hope somebody's writing this down. You guys are coming up with gold. <laughs> Cause that's I mean, like, if, if you convince the town, it's like, if we say to the townspeople, like the frost maiden, you know, demands a sacrifice. These people are coming to attack your town. I can think of no better candidate than, you know, offering up this. But what makes you think they would go out onto the ice? Well, maybe they just come in, fuck up town, leave. If they're they're looking for the Chardolin. You're muted, Professor, if you're trying to jump in. I was just, at least the people would be saved in that case, but. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more about, I think it's more about getting the the people (laughs) onto the ice so that they're not attacked. Or and then, or we we take the chardolin, we take some other bags, right? Put it on the ice. Oh my god! Yeah. They're like, there is your payment. You gotta go get like for the shit you put us through. You gotta go out there and get it, and then you, you know to go out and. Then we say, and then it's and then it's everybody in the town lined up on the shore and like, all right, fucking get them. <laughs> <laughs> what I about mean, we, Freddy? We, we could say that we found the shuttle in, in the in the boats. Who? Freddy. I don't. Oh, different body. There, uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if Freddy is in this body of water. Who's Freddy? You you do. He... This this is all this is all like uh, like Dennis here. Okay. Yeah, this is this is the same lake. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I'm sorry. Who? Uh, who is yeah, Lucas yeah. in? Who is Freddie? They, you see Josie like pulling the drink away from Delfina. <laughs> you see Theo like just putting some putting some water in no, a glass Delphina, and sliding Delphina, it over. This is a fantastic idea. Um, Freddie is a fish see? that we made friends with. Um, he once killed sailors. Now he's our friend. He big likes fish. fish, little fish, big a fish, big, fish. Big, big, bigger. Bigger, big bigger, fish, bigger, huge fish, bigger. Bigger. town fish, or bigger than yeah, is, he like a, like, is he like a country fish or like a city fish? <laughs> is he a little <laughs> bit rock and roll? <laughs> uh, is, is he like like a like a knucklehead trout sized fish? No, big, bigger, no. bigger, like boat He's... sized. Is he like a magical uh, leopluridon? Magical leopluridon, Charlie. Should I try to contact him? <laughs> Can you reach out that far? I may have recently developed a method of communication that can travel very long distances, yes. Oh, you learned message. <laughs> or it's sending, but yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get ready to eat them all. All right, if we can 
put them out onto the ice. And then... I take Flynn's drink and drink it. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> loving, loving this. You, uh, you, I want you to know how amazing all, all of you are. You, none of you, none of you live here. None of you are from here, and yet you you've you've been here for the for the last hour and a half, uh, thinking of ways to save our town. That's uh, for, for a group of of, of travelers. That is that's extraordinary. Um, know that you are all extraordinary. Well, there's there's good people here. I imagine that's Theobald talking, or is it Josie? Um, I'll let you decide. Okay, good. Well, there's good people here, Josie. And as Flynn already said, we did fuck this town six ways. Seven, from what I hear, Theo says, <laughs> with, a, with a really wry smile <laughs> aimed out, not at Flynn, but just kind of in general. And then, But you, 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 you see his... in the back. You, you, <laughs> you see uh, Theo's shoulders kind of like, is, you, you know that he's chuckling with that. <laughs> so we're, we're probably getting on to around two in the morning here. All right, Delphi, go to sleep. Procrastin okay. You probably got it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Josie will, will help Delphina uh, back to where Bye, the, the other girls are to a, to a, a cot. All right. God. Um. Should we get eyes on that on that room, Professor, tonight? Before I would like to. All right. Um, which which room is this? About which we're speaking? The, the speaker. one the speaker. Uh, oh, the is that the speaker's hotel? room at the other hotel. Ooh. Okay. We, that we're hoping will now be abandoned. Yeah. DM, do we conceivably have enough time to do that and still take a long rest? You can take a long rest at any time. You. I mean, you yeah. just have to have eight hours of sleep. I mean. What I will I say, like to get, I would like to get a short rest now before we do it, though. But unless we don't have time, we could. No, so you've been sitting here yeah. for an hour and a half. So if you've been looking for a short, you attained a short in this chat time. Oh, thank God. Um, what I will say is that if you guys aren't laying down to go to bed in the next six hours, we'll have to start talking about uh, a point of exhaustion. But, I mean, you still have some time. If you want to go over and shenanigan yeah. a little, as long as you're back here and in bed, you know, in the next few hours. Now, that will, again, that shifts. If you go to bed at 8 in the morning, it's going to be 4 in the afternoon when you get up. Yep. So, that does shift an awful lot of your daytime working time. So, so. Flynn, if there are still guards there, I don't I don't want to put the time into it, but I'm hoping with the guards leaving the city that it will be mostly abandoned and we can just get in, have our way and get back out. Yeah, I've got uh, game game system wise, I got nothing that needs to be re refreshed just yet, so I can I'm okay. up to make this run. Um, yeah, and, and you guys then, could make yeah. it you guys could make it over there in, I mean, you got the barracks in two minutes. You could probably, if you hoofed it, you'd probably be there in, in four or five minutes. Um, Let's, I mean, we need to at least scout it out. I, I'm sure. Can we, can I carry the professor? Is that going to make it go faster? No, no, probably not. no, yeah, no, he moves just fine. I still have both my legs. <laughs> He's missing an arm, not a leg. Uh, so Delphina has been poured into her bed well, to to nap off some of that whiskey. Hear it for the professor, Flynn. Boy. Flynn and the and the professor. I'm not letting you finish that. Uh, are going to the Luskin Arms Inn. Imdra, are you going to the Luskin Arms oh, Inn as well? Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And I'm not Luca. yeah, no. Absolutely, I'm going because I'm not letting Flynn be the only. Uh, professor's so squishy. <laughs> Delphine, yeah. I, I I have to say that's also my favorite thing too. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, 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 no. no. So, yes or no? So <laughs> Luca, I said, are you from the Midwest? <laughs> these these three chocolate. <laughs> Do these biscuits look like I'm from the? Woo! 
damn, girl. <laughs> These three chuckle fucks are going to go out in the middle of the night to potentially shenanigan some more. Are you going to go with them, or are you going to catch yourself a rest in a cot that's not next to the bathroom? Uh, or are you going to just deuce out and do your own thing out of town? I'm going to roll up my map first. I, I was with, okay, fine. If we're going to bed, you don't need a map no more. He doesn't. It's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you don't. He doesn't know that yet. <laughs> Actually, Ember doesn't know that yet either. <laughs> I'm. I'm pretty sure. I've, have I not spent a night with them yet? No, that's fair. <laughs> they got into Targos. Earlier this evening, six, seven Man. hours ago. I'm telling you, this, this, like, we're like, we're like eight hours is six games. <laughs> and then I'm going to go find a cot that is not near the restrooms. Look at another map and then go to sleep. Okay. Uh, the three of you, uh, Flynn, Professor, and Emdra, roll a perception check. Oh, Don't no. mind if I do. Oh, 14. 14. 19. 14 and 19. 14? I think it's 2 14s. I think it was 14, oh, 14 two, 19. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 2 14s. That's why neither of you said anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you, uh, you guys see him, uh, put the, f roll the map up and put it in the map case. You, he heads out to the back, he says he's going to get some sleep and, uh, Imdra, you for sure hear what sounds like another map, like being unfurled and then maybe refurled and put back in, but it's not overly suspicious. It's just a little peculiar. Yeah, no, that's not. Like, Imdra hears that, recognizes it, decides not to tell the professor, because we have shit to do. Okay. Uh, all right, so you guys are headed to the Luskin Arms Inn. Uh, and just in the interest of me not having to do it, I'm not going to redo the fog. Uh, so just pretend that it's fog. Go again. Uh, I will say that walking through the town and looking purposefully up on the walls and stuff, it, it is the ones on the the ones on the walls have distributed better, but it's still only about the same number, which is maybe a third of what would normally be up there. Okay, okay, uh, well, that's not worse. Uh, true, it's not worse. Uh, I will say that you on the way there, somebody roll one d four. You see, uh, on the way there, you see two uh, guards. One of them looks like he is kind of still on post. The other one seems as though he is dead. Not making a run for it, but not staying in one place. Like he's got, he's carrying a heavier rucksack than you would think he might normally be, and you can see him kind of off in the distance, headed around. Can we? Oh, I retcon for a second and have slipped. Uh, Gua uh, was it? Yeah, it was. A, it was Guhard. Uh, Guhard. Uh, yeah, a, a, a butter sandwich. But a butter taco. A butter yes. taco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he will. He will gladly take a butter taco. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are you going to say, Professor? Are we, are we close enough to see it all? If those guards have bracelets on. Uh, you are not. The one that you see that's moving away is. He's moving away kind of click quickly and he is he is kind of at the edge of your of your night sight. Uh the one that was that seems to still be kind of on post and patrolling around. Uh if you get real close to him, you know, he'll he'll acknowledge you. And is there, you, yeah, is there a way to address these guards at all, or is it just Sure, yeah, you can you can address him. So like as I'm so like I, I get so as I see him. Like as I see the guard who's who's actually walking by, keeping post. Like, I, I make eye contact with him and said, and say, "Keep up the good work." And I say, "The keep up the good work." The town is going to need you soon, and rest assured, you have people who have your back. 
Do, do you know where, where all of the other guards have gone? Uh, the mercenary army has been dispersed. Uh, there has been an attack on the town hall. Uh, we expect there will be further attacks, but we are rallying troops. You are not alone. Stay to your posts. Um. Okay, it dis dispersed. Um, you can tell he's kind of mulling that over and and looking around, and he Look, he's he's be, very. Let's, let's be honest. Between he, you and me, he, he's very nervous army. now. Between you and me, the mercenary army. They kind of suck, right? Yeah, probably. Well. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they they were they were real dicks, but I mean, yeah, the, absolutely, there was, real the, dicks. The, but but there were a lot of them, and and there most were. of them actually fought fought pretty well. Um, you know, uh, this she'll she'll and will reach behind her back and pull out Ember, and she does so. And he'll Ember and he'll, and he'll kind of he'll he'll move into an on guard stance, but he doesn't like <laughs> have his weapon ready or anything. He's like he's not sure what's happening. You're this, outsiders, man. <laughs> absolutely. This is Ember. Um, uh, hi, Ember. Ember. <laughs> hi, Ember. She will have your back when the time comes, as I will. My name is Captain. Captain Imdra. You went to the press. I didn't know her first name was Captain. That's exactly where <laughs> I am. <laughs> you, you, your, your, your parents named you Captain? No. My rank is Captain Soldier. Your rank is Captain Soldier? The soldier, god damn it! <laughs> Flynn, and I, Flynn and I are in sync tonight. Um, with Jokes aside, with that, hearing you call yourself Captain, that, and seeing the girth of your sword, um, that actually does kind of... It, it perks him up a little bit. He's He's... He's not as, as kind of like withdrawn when you told him that everyone had been dis dispersed. Um, so yeah, he's th that's worked a little bit. What's your name? Um, Harvey. This is my favorite game to play with Buddy because he hates naming NPCs. Well, well, I have like uh, like three other NPCs that are that are coming up in my head and I almost yeah. said one of them and I was like can't that's another guy <laughs> Ryan, that is Ryan's gonna make me else. burn all the people I've already got figured out Harvey yes be an honor fighting by your side keep up your keep up the good work and keep to your post and he will he will snap to attention yes captain thank you she'll sheathe ember and continue walking okay you guys, anything else you want to say before you get to... Immediately, she's going to be like, I swear to God, Flynn, if you ever <laughs> fucking razz me like that again. <laughs> Not the time. Not the time. Listen, <laughs> Captain Soldier, check it out. <laughs> Soldier Captain. Uh, <laughs> and that's Captain Emdra to you, sir. Uh, anything else uh, while on the way to the Luskan Arms that you guys want to say? I imagine that the dick bag with the larger rucksack is already gone, Yeah. yeah? Yeah, I mean, like he was basically gone when you guys were like, "You see that dickbag over there?" Yeah. So, chances are he was, he was either one of the militia or one of the um, the mercenaries, or he he's militia who just doesn't think he can hack it. What do you give the odds of the people in this town? He says, uh, Indra says to Flynn and the professor. Um. I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's thinking about uh, the likelihood of their survival is not a thought I like to keep in mind. I just want to do what I can. I am worried for this town, though. Oh, that's good, Professor. That proves to me that you're not entirely insane. Oh no, he is. He <laughs> oh, but he is though. He absolutely is. Says the person who was possessed last episode. How dare you? <laughs> how <laughs> how very dare you? Okay. Happy birthday! <laughs> you guys arrive. 
at uh, the Luskin. There I, is. I, I can't only imagine how much this innkeeper is going to roll his eyes when the professor walks back in. But I heard the room is available. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is. There is one guard out front, and he is sitting semi dejectedly on the stoop. Is he still sad that Zilvana didn't go out with him? Um, we'll say yes. He's covered in soup. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, he's he's just he's just kind of there, and he sees you guys walk up. Oh, you back, huh? How about you outside? Because I'm on guard. Everybody fucking dipped and told me I had to stay here to protect the old man. Is he wearing a bracelet? Roll a perception check. Don't make me do it. I'll, I'll help <laughs> Don't ask me up. questions. <laughs> yeah, can we can we help the professor in that? Uh, yeah, who just rolled that crit? That was Imdra. The most perceptive one of the bunch this evening. I got an 11. I had, <laughs> I had a 15. Um, yeah, it, 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 Imdra, yeah. You, you see that it just, he's sitting there, and so, like, his sleeves aren't really pulled up, but you can see Imagine the edge. like, the professor doing this, he's, he's like, yeah, they're right there. You uh, you definitely see the the edge of a, a glint of, of a gold bracelet uh, on his wrist. He does not seem, especially with that that twenty or twenty three. He doesn't seem like the guard you just spoke with, who was kind of nervous and and apprehensive. He seems maybe a little more agitated, and just kind of like this this you know it's just my crap assignment this time kind of vibe. That's the vibe you get from him. Well, where did the rest of them run off to in a hurry? <sighs> Who knows? They told me to stay here and protect the old man. Is He's or... like pulling stuff together inside. So I guess when he leaves, I can go. All right. Well, okay. I'm saying, hey, good on you. Do you, do you live here? We'll or... try to make it short then. Or did you get brought in? Well, I mean, yeah, I live here. I'm not from here, but I live here. Uh, are, are you... One of the hired militia? Yeah. Like the, the, the mercs brought in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Professor, give me a bracelet. Really? 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 I uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see. I'll give him one of the 10 gold ones. Are uh, those silver? Hmm? No, they're gold. <laughs> they're all gold. Well, there are gold and then... I'm sorry, did I not ever give you the breakout? You did. There's 25 worth 10 gold, 10 worth 15 gold, and 3 worth 5 what? platinum. Correct. Yo, get these gold bracelets from. Or, not what? important. Don't um, worry about it. You don't know about them. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we're going to file that under Nunya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see it in party treasure? No. <laughs> <laughs> then you're not party to the information, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will uh, take out one yeah. of the ten gold bracelets. And, okay. I'm Imdra is raising the largest eyebrow she can right now, just because she only has the one. Because she only has one eye. Yeah. Uh, the other's a patch brow. Um, <laughs> it's drawn on on the eye. It's, it's, <laughs> it's on no. the eye. <laughs> it's it's mouse fur. <laughs> <laughs> <You're right. laughs> drawn uh, on. He's intrigued that you have. Uh, bracelets, pay bracelets in your in your bag. Um, things have gone to shit. Uh, if you if there's any more hired in like you around, let them know that they're still pay. And I need you to stick around for at least one more day. Maybe not maybe not right here, but like in town. Uh, okay. Uh, he he gets up off of the stoop, no longer sitting, and pulls back into kind of guard stance. Um and and he'll he'll hold his hand out but he won't like take it from you. He's waiting obviously for you to relinquish it to him. Uh y yes sir. Where uh where would you like me to post? Um 
here for now, if things change, uh, if things change, what our base of operations is the <laughs> what felt in. I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it, like a couple more guards at the wolf felt would make me sad. Uh, yeah, Two people there. Um, it, yeah, if 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 the guy here ends up like fully leaving, come to the wolf felt in. If any other mercs are left in town, you send them to us. Yes, sir. Let them know. Let them know where you got this, and that there's there's more where that came from. If if they're willing to stay. Yes, sir. He's referring to both of you as sir now. I put it on his wrist. Today oh. was long. Tomorrow will be longer. Then I walk in. <laughs> okay. And he, uh, he for sure, as you, you put it on his wrist and as you head for the door, he'll reach out and, and like open the door for you. Then you guys should have token controls oh. in there. Uh, so you see... Uh, professor, who you remember is the the old man who had watched you around earlier. He seems to be gathering things into a uh, a small travel case, travel trunk kind of thing, pulling some papers out, and uh, maybe maybe there's a till behind the desk. And he he looks up at at all of you. Where, where oh where are you uh, going? He, uh you know go ahead and. Uh, We'll just we're gonna run you a tab on that room. Uh, don't worry about the initial payment. Uh, you look you look trustworthy, so we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll settle up at the end of the month. Are you closing? I had a room here. No, no, your room is still here. It is is it is still upstairs. I I have a a family emergency uh, that I need to get to in 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 Termalane. And uh, uh, some someone else will be here in my stead, but I, I'm here. I'm I'm leaving a note. Uh, crazy That's man right. in room five. Pay next month, Professor. Oh, you I, know, yeah. I may have heard a rumor that the room at the end of the hall had become available, and I think I'd like to see that one. I was just been aware that the uh, speaker had a splitting headache and had to partake of the town. By the way, it was a room for that. Yeah. Um, professor, what were the what were the names on that list of uh, agents? Oh, let me see here. Uh, what what is your name, good fellow? Um, uh, Owen. Owen Tarsenal. Owen. 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 No, buddy, Owen's would, not on I, here. Buddy, I, I would have I would have paid you money if you just said his name was Owen Rent. <laughs> 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 it's like, yes, buddy. <laughs> All right. uh, no, it, uh, no Owen can do, does, my friend. He's in the module. <laughs> Owen does not appear to uh, to rank high enough to make it on this list. This list, I think, is primarily uh, people that are on the short list to fill the roles of speakers mm. and, and, and mm. such. Not Mr. Owen here. DM, can I, can I insight Mr. Owen? Uh, for, yes. What are you trying to insight from him? You can't just uh, general insight. Yeah. So I, I'm, 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 so this whole like, Oh, I've got a family thing in Tourmaline. This seems fucking sus to me. The fact mm. that he's like packing up shop and that the mercenaries have also like a big chunk of the mercenaries have also cut down. Like, to Sus, me, you think? You think? Yeah, just, just a bit. Just, just a bit. Just a bit. My, my lawful good sense is tingling. So, yeah. Though, yeah. I, I got nothing in terms of insight. So, let's let's see if... Uh... With an eight, I roll. Hold on, let me get You his seem perfectly normal. Never mind. Carry on. So, I rolled 20 is at that point in the night where it's slowing down. I'm trying to get his character sheet open. Oh. Uh, I didn't know I would need to know what his deception roll or persuasion roll might be. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you what it is. It definitely seems made up on the spot, like a name like Harvey would be. <laughs> <laughs> Could Harvey believe that? But all right. Um, and so he he is going to continue packing, maybe not quite as fervently as he was before, but he's definitely continuing to put, to put things in his, uh, in his little travel case. Oh, and would it be possible for my friend to see the room that the speaker had on, uh, on, on Lend? Uh, well, 
His room is upstairs right next door to it. Um, that other room is, is, is paid up. Uh, but, uh, uh, I mean, you know, he probably shouldn't go in there, but, but he is a renter here and all complaints about other renters will have to be handed in in writing to me. Um, but so, you're leaving. Uh, well, but yes, I mean, I mean, someone will, will be here to fill in, uh, for me, uh, in, in the morning, but, uh. But I I'm don't. I don't suppose take... there would be any complaints issue between then and in the morning. Between now of and not. then, he he's floundering, and I would say that all of you kind of get the impression that he is not implicitly giving you permission. But Professor, he's not vehemently denying you like he did before. Yes. Um, okay, get in. Hypothetically, would I find the door at the end of the hall to be locked? Um, what generally folks would lock their rooms when they leave. Um, but, uh, you, uh, you having a room need a key now as well. And he'll, there's a cabinet behind him that he will open and you'll see him get to a key and count one back from it to pick yours up. This is the key, sir, to your room. Uh, and then he's back to doing, doing things. Uh, but he sees something over here that he needs to go get. So he walks over there to I, to get a few things. I look together. at Flynn and I'm just Flip, like, I'm already over the I'm already over the counter. <laughs> I I mean, I was just going to grab it with the mage hand. I was just going to telekinesis. And that's actually even better if Flynn jumps over the desk and you still mage hand it away and so yeah. Flynn's chasing a flying key. Yeah. I'm like, "Flynn, calm down." Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I can only do it once and I don't want to wait to do it to grab the key. Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Upstairs. So uh, as I walk by, I'm just going to leave a couple gold on the desk there. Um. Okay, so you guys want to transition to upstairs? Yar. Ja. So I'm going to stay down with Owen. Interesting, okay. Not, uh, not interested in, in a room? Well, I imagine with the professor being as observant as he is and Flynn backing him up, they'll be all right. Uh, the professor is very bad at big pictures and oh. he tends to focus on tiny, minute details. But I'm hoping he can investigate pretty well, right? Well, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, there we go. A very low perception, very high investigation. So if you point me in the right direction, I can usually figure stuff out. But I, I miss the forest for the trees many times. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay, gents, tell me what you're doing. Uh, let's just open this door. Key and door. So they're going to unlock that door. Delfina, sleep is... Uh, it comes a little fitfully. You lay down and, man, it really seems like you're just swimming and you have to sit up a couple of times to to get oh your God, head cleared. But, but, uh, <laughs> but, but eventually, Delfina does, uh, does go to sleep and, man, just like, like a log. Um, Luca, tell me what is going on with you. So the map that I would have pulled out was one that has X's on it where I will typically hide out when I am not near town. Mm -hmm. And the various tribe, like barbarian tribes, migration patterns, like where they like to camp out and have all of their stuff and kind of their hunting grounds. Um, and kind of using my history that I have would think where a raiding party would most likely come if the tribes were to attack. Ah. Interesting. Okay. All right. It's so like, then we'll say you spend a few minutes with that and, and we'll probably pick that up in the morning um, provided you're still there asleep when everyone gets back. Mm, mystery. Uh, anything else from Luca? Uh, no, I'll, I'll wrap it up after I've done all my little 
mm. mind palace stuff, put it away, and just kind of like back on the wall, leaning in the cot, sleep with one eye open. Yeah, this is, I will say, this is definitely more comfortable. Um, uh, Zalvana, who you met uh, just briefly earlier, uh, will bring you, uh, you know, another pillow and a blanket and, and make sure that, that you're doing okay. And once Delphina has kind of fitfully moved into a calm sleep, and once you seem settled, she checks, you see her kind of with your one eye, she checks on the three other girls again, and then she herself lays down uh, to get a rest. But you feel, you feel actually okay at the moment. Um, back to the Luskin Arms. So are you guys going to enter this room? Yes. Yes. I'm going to check the door for traps. No. Just kidding. Yeah. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's no traps. Oh, yeah. Let me check it for trap. Fireball. <laughs> Fireball. And that's where we're going to end the stream, everyone. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much for playing. Yeah. So you uh, slide the key into the lock. It, it pops open and you go into a... I mean, it's kind of shabby chic in here. I mean, it's definitely I a little. Say the professor was a hundred percent right to try to get into this room as much as yes. he did. Like, look at this thing. It's like, huge. like two different cow print rugs in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, a huge bed. Yeah, for sure. Although, I mean, it's the same size bed as the other two rooms at the other end of the hall that you rejected. It's just it's in red instead of in blue. Yeah, yeah. That's um, it's some, but yeah, just but better. Look at all the pillows, all the sitting chairs. Uh, There's like a table I mean, with weapons. It's you nice. just sit sit here for days. Uh, yeah, so the room is unoccupied. Start rummaging. All right, so uh, why don't you? <laughs> is this a desk over here? Uh, sure it is. Like okay. Like a 40-year-old woman at a yard sale. He is just rummaging. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, uh, all right, so you, you guys going to spend some time investing. Are you trying to do it quick, quick and out, or are you going to actually spend a little bit of time? Uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time. I'm hoping that he kept a, a sticky note on his desk that said, hey, those people I kidnapped are being held. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi password. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Look on the bottom of the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but okay. no, I want to spend a little bit of time here. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Uh, then why don't you give me a a an investigation with advantage? Come on, you brainy bastard. Uh, seventeen plus nine. Twenty six. Uh, all right. Do you have your uh, notebook ready to write things down? Okay, yes. <laughs> I this, do now. Uh, this is beyond the desk. This is kind of turning you and Flynn together, turning the whole room over. Yes. Um, similarly to what you had found on him, um, you find another ring of three keys... You find 150 gold, 70 silver. Okay. Two potions of healing. Okay. Uh, roll me 1d4. Uh, I'll do that in roll 20. I'll roll them cracking. Okay, uh, I'll have to get you the values for these, but uh, you find uh, artwork. You find a painting of a nude tiefling. Lassie. A <laughs> a painting of the city of Lufkin. I'm sorry, oh, not Lu not Lufkin, Luskin. Oh, thank you. Sorry, <laughs> Luskin. Um, and then a uh, a small uh, kind of artsy clay ziggurat. Zipper what? <laughs> I was just gonna. I mean, yeah. 
Uh, you also find 25 more 10 gold pay braces. <laughs> we about to buy an army! Yeah. Yep. And you find two bags of Chardolin pieces. God damn it. Hey! Each one 250 pounds? Is that... Nope. No? Nope. Just like yeah. the other ones, they're... Like eight pounds. <laughs> yeah, eight pounds. These might be nine. Yeah. To go up to them and be like, so, like, we got a deposit. It's like small. It's like small. We don't get more. It's like, it's just, you know, it's not that much, but. Yeah. Um. So, are you guys going to stay and do more? Or are you going to head back to the Wolf's Pelt? Because that will depend on if we're going to end right the second or. I'm done. I want to get both rings of keys out and compare the keys. Is it the same three keys on each key ring? It seems to be two sets of the same three keys, but yes. key A, B, and C on each ring are different. So it's A, B, C, and A, B, C. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. And, mm, oh, okay. <clears throat> well, so, yeah, you guys, you guys want to stay and keep doing stuff because we can pick that nope. up next week. Or I if you just want here. to, we can no. fast travel back to the Wolf's Pelt and get you guys in bed. Yeah, let's do back that. Back to the Wolf's Pelt. Indra, oh, anything well. from you? Oh, yeah. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Owen some questions, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Let us let me transition the map back over. And while they're doing all that... Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is as they were hunting through the room. Uh, I'm getting the map over the... It's Again, it's that point of the night where Roll20 is No like, worries. No worries. I need a nap. I'm Roll20. So, Owen... Oh, I get the feeling that you're leaving town in, in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, well, uh, uh, yes, as I as I said, uh, uh, family. Got, and yes, uh, yes, family troubles in, uh, in 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 Lonelywood. Yes, Tourmaline is what you said earlier. Well, well, well yeah, yeah, but I mean, you got to go through Tourmaline to get to Lonelywood. Mm. Which, which you know, so, you you know that to be true, but he's definitely sus. Yeah. So, what do you know? I know that you have to go through Tourmaline to get to Lonelywood. Owen. Oh, um. We are both creatures of action. Lies do not become us. I run a hotel. I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with you there. It's hard to run a hotel when you're not here. What do you know? Make a persuasion, intimidation, I was gonna or, say, de or if, deception. If, if your he still is like she, she like draws Ember, sets it on the counter. He's like, "What do you know?" So you're going for intimidation then? Oh, absolutely, I am. Please make an intimidation check. Yeah. An advantage? No. Why would it be an advantage? Because well, I'm going to use it my inspiration. All right. Ah. <laughs> the, the, now it's an advantage. Yes. Oh, come on. Only a 13 on that. He'll look down at the sword. And he'll look up at you. That's a nice piece. I've not seen... Uh, not seen many better than that. Um, so that's what I know. I know that's a beautiful sword. Mm. He, he, he he's been around the block. Your <laughs> your pathetic thirteen intimidation yeah, I know. did oh, not uh, did not make him quake. He's like, I run a hotel, baby. I've seen some shit. <laughs> you think I haven't had to take, you know, women who are dying of overdoses on various potions and drugs out the back for high profiling people. I came here from Luskin, took this place over preeminent hotel of Icewind Dale, the Luskin arms Inn. yeah, really wish I'd have stayed in Luskin. Hmm. So is that where you're actually headed? If I could get out of Icewind Dale, I would head there in a moment, but unless you're just stupid, which you don't seem to be, you know that I can't go to Luskin. Right. But I also know that you're not going to Tourmaline. No, sorry. 
Lonely Wood. Oh, wait. Did I get that right? Doesn't really matter. I'm, I have no, uh, no call to tell you at all where I'm going, other than I won't be here in a few minutes. I'm looking for somebody. Mm. Found female. some found somebody you have. Mm-hmm. It's female. Shorter than I am. Brunette. I'm pretty sure you've seen her coming in and out of this place. Have you seen her recently? I don't know. I see a lot of people. What about the good captain? Captain Scath. That's the one. Yeah. I mean, he comes in here from time to time, meets with the speaker. I've seen him recently. He seems to have gone missing. Mm. Missing might be one way to put it. I think maybe he's just gone where you don't know where he is. I will say that I don't either. I'm not on his payroll or his you know, command staff or chain of command or whatever. Do you know what's coming for this town? He's going to like close the case and like click the latches. He's going to fold his arms on it and lean in very close to you. Like just, I mean, Ember, you can feel his breath on your face and he's going to say, do you know what's coming? Well, between the two of us, one of us is staying. So if there's anything you can do to help these people, seeing as how you're already helping yourself plenty, I'd be much obliged. And then she's going to go ahead and put a little, a little bit of gold on the, on the counter. Okay. How much more? You did, you, did, you did two earlier. <laughs> I say I'll do uh, I'll do 15 gold. Okay. Um, that is quite a generous offer. And I must say thank you. And he will reach into his pocket and he will pull out 25 and slide it over in front of you and pick the handle of his case up and say, I would implore you not to stay. And he'll walk out the front door unless you are going to accost him. No, I'm lawful good. <laughs> so you don't She'll stop him? Just, no, no, she's gonna look pretty cold and hard at that 25 gold on the counter. Just <sighs> this town's fucked. So, uh, so the three of you are going to make your way back to the wolf's pelt and take a long rest. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just uh, going to share with the, her compatriots sort of the conversation she had with Owen. In that, did you take the twenty-five that he laid out? Did you pick your fifteen back up? Mm. I left the money on the counter. I took it. But I took it. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> but Flynn, I, like, I Flynn, left the money on the counter. Yeah, I left Flynn, the money on the counter. you come downstairs and there's 42 gold on the counter. Yeah. And you're like, motherfucker. <laughs> so, Imdra, please please deduct 17 gold from your inventory. Yeah. Flynn, please add 42 gold to yours. Does that count the two that I left on the counter when I went upstairs too? Yes. Yes. Yes, it yes. does. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, Imdra only deduct uh, 15. Professor, you deduct yeah. two. Yeah, I already took the two off. Um, but Flynn, <laughs> Flynn makes <laughs> gets all of it. Basically, you guys oh, just man. paid Flynn. Um, and so yeah, you guys get back, and we'll say and uneventfully, he bring uh, Ender brings you up to speed, and you guys all get your long rest. And that's where we're gonna end the stream tonight, man. There were so many good points where I was like, I'm gonna cut him off. I'm gonna cut him off. But that's that's where it is.